Ooh, ah, look at how that works. That's great. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, me uh, trying this streaming thing again. I believe the last time I actually tried to stream games as, like, I was trying to do Nathan's uh, Game Club, uh, it was not working all that well. My computer was not really built for it. Uh, that was a that was a Mac Mini, and it was like a 2.3 gigahertz processor. It really wasn't built for you know the the stats really weren't built for it. So I kept having problems uh, trying to get the uh, audio to sync up to our uh, my my video and everything, and it just wasn't working. I'm certainly hoping that we're going to have a little bit better time with it on this uh, because I'm actually able to use Twitch Studio this time. That's great. Uh, and obviously the new computer is uh, much more of a behemoth and and uh, is uh, is only using a fraction of the CPU power to do the same basic tasks. So that's really good. In case you are new here, uh, welcome. Uh, we, uh, my name is Nathan, I usually go at thy Citanium, uh, and I am half of a little podcast called Delve, where we talk about game design, and primarily we talk about tabletop design, but something that we do have a very big passion for are video games. It's something that me and Alex, my, uh, co-host, and to a lesser degree cousin, have been doing for quite some time. Uh, and so we're actually going into year, what are we looking at? We're going into year, starting with 2015, I guess 2015, 2016, yeah, 2014, 2015. So we're, we're like five years into that podcast, over 200 episodes. You probably still haven't heard of it. That's okay. But we do, uh, live episodes here, uh, at the first, uh, Saturday of the month. So we, uh, we just got done with that. Um, but I wanted to do a little bit more uh, in streaming. And so the thing about it is, I wanted to do streaming, and the first one I wanted to do was Deus Ex. Why? Because Deus Ex is my favorite game. And uh, also because um, uh, it was always my benchmark. Uh, so basically, um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. One second here. It was uh, it was always my benchmark for. Yeah, that's not important. Clicking out of that. Uh, it was always my benchmark, uh, just for. Uh, what you were, uh, able to do on your computer. So back in twenty, uh, twenty zero zero, <laughs> back in the year two thousand. In the year two thousand. I had gotten a copy of Deus Ex and was very new at that time, and I played it on my iMac. Now, uh, when I played it on my iMac, as you can probably imagine, that didn't exactly go great, uh, because there were about 10 minute loads to just get into the game. Uh, actually, I think that it was probably 5 to 10 minutes between uh, load screens into different areas. I think that it was actually closer to like 20 or or more just to load the game up. I had to load the game up, go get lunch, come back. And that was kind of insane. Uh, ugh. Sniffled. That was kind of insane. Uh, but then every time I got a computer after that, I needed to test it out and see uh, how Deus Ex ran. And it kept running better. And the load screens were a lot lighter, and I could run it on some higher frame rates and everything. Um, and it definitely ran ran a lot better. But then there got to be a point where my copy... Hold on a second. I can show you that I indeed... Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I brought this because I wanted to show everybody. So this, this is the original copy of Deus Ex. Okay? This was from, from, from Aspire. Remember Aspire? This, it, it's great. This even has the book. Remember the booklet? Here we go. This is great. Here we go, folks. Look, it's a manual. It's got the manual and everything. It, it tells you how to save and load. 
it, it it does. It's a it's how your main menu goes and everything. It's got the it's got the whole shebang, which I love. It tells you all about the weapons. Ooh. Oh, mini crossbow. By the way, mini crossbow, best weapon. Just for the record. Second I get a mini crossbow, it's all over for me. Alright, so uh, I had this original disc. Now the problem is this original disc, okay, um, stopped working probably when I dropped it. No, it stopped working when um, uh, when I, I had the, uh, the unfortunate problem of going to uh, Os X because once we actually went to Os X, this disc no longer works. So I haven't been able to test it on the last few computers that I've had because X has been out for a very long time. Um, now, uh, that means that I have been unable to play uh, Deus Ex for, I don't know, probably a good 10 years. I guess it's about 10 years now. And, um, and that makes me a, a sad boy. But luckily, we are not going to be a sad boy today because we are going to uh, be able to, to play this. And people are going to be able to see it firsthand how it plays on the new system. Now, I, I will also tell you, since we are kind of in chat mode, I was going to wear these. But as you can see, they kind of poke into my eye. These do not work. These, these, this, th these are so flimsy. It, and I could put them on the bridge of my nose, but it's not going to work. It's just not, it, there's, there's, I can't work with this. Anyway, uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, so anyway, picked up Deus Ex, it was on a winter sale over at GOG. Now, uh, here's the interesting thing. I, I tried it, I booted it up, I thought to myself, oh, cool. Game works. I wanted to make sure that it worked. Went into the training uh, section just to see how it was uh, operating, and um, what I what I found out was that uh, there was some issues. <laughs> there were some issues if you just play the regular Deus Ex because now we've gone from a part where it was very hard to like the, the hardware requirements were very high for the systems before, but it's been 20 years. So if you have like a high quality gaming PC now, uh, the game doesn't know how to deal with the kind of specs that you're putting out. So running is like instantaneous. Like you go from here whoop, to there immediately, which when you're trying to do jumping sequences does not work. Audio for people talking cuts out about half a second after they start talking. And then the, it's just like your conversation's over. Um, <laughs> and, uh, trying to disarm, uh, you know, wall-mounted bombs takes you, uh, a, you have about a half a second before it explodes. Uh, stealth is basically impossible. <laughs> uh, everything, everything about the original game doesn't really work now because the hardware is so fast. It's like if you had Space Invaders, but Space Invaders was playing on modern hardware because there's no limitation to it. So you just, yeah, and you're dead. Um, so... Luckily, if you get this on GOG or you get this on Steam or any other place, they should have a mod that is uh, the Deus Ex Revision. And I highly recommend it because the second I booted up into Revision instead, all of these problems were mitigated. And that is a huge deal. So what we're going to actually be playing is the Revision. Now the great thing about that is that there's high texture detail maps. There's there's a uh, high rendering for some of the characters, I guess. Uh, there's definitely some some better graphics involved, but also they've been able to go over and look at uh, some of the the glitches and the bugs and a whole bunch of other quality of life stuff to make it play a lot better. So overall, I have to say that uh, just kind of running through the training just to see how it played, I was very, very impressed. Uh, so we're going to play that way. So actually, we've gone from uh, having a game that was too difficult to play uh, because the hardware limitations were so egregious to having a game that um, is, is old enough that you actually have to mod it so that it runs correctly on modern systems, so it is not a, a, a crapshoot when you start playing it. 
Uh, but you know what? I would much rather have that problem because this boots up instantaneously for me. And uh, we are going to be able to share it with you now. So I am just going to go right on to the main page here. Look at this. I'm having I transitions and everything like I'm a professional. I'm not. But here we are. Uh, and there, there we go. So we are on the main screen. Let's just jump in here real quick and see what I can do. I'm going to go back to the previous menu. I'm going to exit. Uh, yeah, can we just... Um, can I exit? Do you want to exit? No, I don't want to exit revision. Um, I just want to... Um, back to game. Okay, see, you can see right now, I'm just in the training right now. Ooh, ah, uh, these floor details. Like, this looks surprisingly good, right? I think it looks really, really good. I, I do not remember it looking this good in my head. But here we are. Um, but we're not going to be playing in the, the training. I want to get right into the actual game itself. And they've added a couple things, unique challenges, and survival mode. No, no. We're just, we're just doing story. That's all we're doing. And honestly, I'm just going to play on medium. I, I, I don't want to play on easy because tourist mode, I love that. That's great. Hard, realistic, real. It is the, some of these get really difficult, but I'm, I'm just going to play on medium. I just want to have, I just want to have a regular old Deus Ex experience. Medium is usually what you're looking at. Um, you can choose your appearance between a few different things. I, I guess I, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, JC Denton Classic, and we're not going to do much. Um, points needed. You do get some points up at the front. I forgot about this. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Um, the, the, these, these are all very useful, honestly. And the, the thing I really like about this game and always have is the fact that you can train and get uh, proficient because it's, it's untrained, trained, advanced, and master. And you can spend your skill points into any one of them. You could try to just get better in every single category or you could try to uh, you know master individual ones and they'll tell you exactly what those do the great thing about this game is that uh you can pick and choose these and you can get through the game without having to worry about you know uh, not having the right skills quote unquote but the skills that you choose will kind of determine how you navigate the world and how you play the game so, for instance, at the beginning, I have computer and electronics and lock picking, uh, which are definitely more for hacking and for stealth mechanics to get into areas, avoiding enemies. Um, computer can be kind of useful to get terminals. Uh, you, uh, you can start hacking ATMs, which is good for you need cash. Computer security codes. Uh, which is good. You can get onto computers. You can uh, get people's, uh, you know, security codes so you can access new areas. Um, advanced and agent achieves moderate increase in detection countdowns and, and lockout. And then uh, master, of course, you become an elite hacker. Uh, same thing with uh, this. You bypass security systems with these little, little remote pieces. Environmental training is about hazmat suits and your rebreathers and everything and the efficiency of all of that. So that's always an option. Even uh, the thermoptic camo, which will make you invisible for a little bit. Medicine, obviously, is about how you reduce your uh, damage to like toxins and heal damage. Uh, swimming, surprisingly useful because it will increase your swim speed and lung capacity. Um, and then, of course, your weapon proficiencies, demolition, so for explosives, and then your heavy, low tech, which is your, your melee weapons, uh, pistols, and uh, rifle. These, these are all perfectly good um, 
Uh, I'm trying to think what they have. Like, okay, yeah, pistols, handheld weapons, including standard 10 millimeter pistol, which is usually what you get, and its stealth variant, and the mini crossbow. So it's probably good to actually do get yourself trained in that. Additionally, um, what do I want to put points into? Um, I, 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 the sniper rifles. Yeah, sniper rifles are very useful. Uh, what was the low-tech options? It's melee weaponry. I honestly don't... I, I probably won't use that very much. Heavy weaponry. Yeah. Mm. The gep guns and everything like that. Yeah, no, they're fine. They're just not particularly useful. Uh, demolition might, though. Uh, because this is about grenades. A whole host of grenades, in fact, uh, like lambs, uh, which are the exploding ones, gas grenades, EMPs. I think I'll probably upgrade that just because I'd like to. Lock picking uh, right up at the front is good to have. And I am going to say uh, I'd like to have computers. That always seems to end up being useful for me. And um, anything else I want to train in? I don't have enough points to put into rifle. Um, oh my god. Yeah, medicine. Probably medicine. That looks good to me. That screen resolution? Yeah. <laughs> the screen resolution is a whole lot better than it used to be, my friend. I'll tell you that, Alex. Um... <laughs> Uh, thank you. I am the character creation boss. I certainly hope I am. I, it's been a long time since I did this, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember how the actual mechanics of this work. I don't know if Alex is making fun of the screen resolution or not. I can tell you though, Alex, this looks a hell of a lot better than it did once upon a time. Once upon a time, you would have to wait 10 minutes for this to look, um, Pretty much like uh, the pixel graphic <laughs> games, it would look it would look kind of like the style of Stardew Valley, but not on purpose. And it would take you about ten minutes to load into environments in that because that came out twenty years ago. But anyway, uh, the point is, you do back to Mr. Game. Uh, do do do. Uh, I think I am. Oh, you mean the size? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it really small? Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, they do have options that if you wanted to make it double. Oh, I could do that. Good call. Thank you. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I can actually, I, I remember what I did. Tell me if this looks better. Do, 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 do. Now that they have this on here, it makes it a lot easier UI scaling. There, you happy now? I'll let that kind of sink in for a second. But this is good. It just, all it did was just make the UI larger. It doesn't change the environments or anything, but my, my UI is a little easier to, to see. The thing is, is that when this game originally came out, um, you have to remember that it, it's a very old game. So the displays were not nearly as large that it could it could fit this giant screen resolution in. Um, but anyway, I can do it in this one. Story, medium, and what was I doing a second ago? Right, I was going to do computer. Boom. I'm going to do demolition. Boom. I like grenades. Medicine. And uh, what was the other thing I was doing? Oh, right. I... There. Well, I don't know how to help you out. <laughs> uh, yeah, once we get into the game, I think you might might see it. I mean, you have to remember they did some uh, advancements, but they didn't exactly do all the advancements. Like they tried to make quality of life increases. But they were not so much focused on trying to make the graphics better when, like, the like the indie team that came in to do the mod. 
If I showed you the original, you'd be like, oh, yeah, this looks a whole lot better. Um, but, uh, but uh, because I will make a note. Actually, I'll make a note right here in chat. That um, it's technically, technically, Deus Ex Revision. Um, technically. All right, but I'm going to start the game. This looks good. These are all kinds of things that I enjoy. So we're just going to get this started up. And... Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the senator. I take it he was agreeable? I'll, uh... He didn't really have a choice. I will tell you the story infected? is near impenetrable. Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority <laughs> I... list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. Page is, um... Armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough Page is to not around, great. And the underclasses are starting to get desperate. As a character. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Mm -hmm. Sure. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. The a thing pretentious old men that's hard to understand world, about this is um, there's so the many future. shadow the organizations involved. UNATCO. Formed by executive order after there's the terrorist one. strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. Really oh, those things. Our biochem corpus That's a grizzle. Learn about that later. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they Go refuse to consider. <laughs> the augmentation project. Among other things, but I must admit that I've been that. somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. <laughs> the secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order. You ate Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, oh, his city will be a reality, and we, Thomas Aquinas, kings, are better than kings, gods. Yeah, no delusions of grandeur there. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. And we are here. Okay. This is where the magic starts. This is all on Liberty Island. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. It's not hard to find Paul. 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 I thought you were in Hong Kong. That was easy. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't yes. think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The Not bots good. are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. Mm. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. Mm. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you not go better issues. Just in hardware. case there are cows around, Remember that I guess. Police. I don't know. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. Can you the give me a mini crossbow? Way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants can. you to pick an additional weapon. Yes. A sniper rifle, a gap gun, or a mini crossbow. That's an easy one, everybody. It's obviously the crossbow. The crossbow. Yes. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. The with these crossbows, great. Start, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I yes. get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the Mini island. Mini crossbow. If you can get to the north dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. Yeah. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. Okay. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. We can look for I'll one. see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. Mm. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held oh, on the ground floor. What are my That's orders right. when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. Mm -hmm. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated than you think. <clears throat> so, anyway, 
Uh, this kind of gives you an idea of uh, the, the game as it starts. Uh, Liberty Island is where things get really interesting. This is kind of a good place to start it off. But this is the thing. You definitely want a mini crossbow. <laughs> um, one thing though, man, I don't know if it's just me, but... I spill my drink! Don't you love that? I was just trying to keep some of these a little bit lower. Uh, speech volume, yes, but effects, boy, that rain is just hitting me real hard right now. Music is just low. Okay, and let's just get back here. And while I'm here, because I have not officially screwed up yet. Alright, so we've got Tranky done. Okay. This is why this is awesome. Just for the record. Because... There are three different kinds of bolts that you get with the, uh, the mini crossbow. You get the regular bolts that will do, like, lethal takedowns if you get headshots. You've got the trank darts that will uh, make, make people pass out unconscious. And then you also have incendiary darts that you get later. And uh, those will set things on fire. So you got a whole range of options <laughs> right up at the front. Um, door strength, infinity, uh, oh, lock strength, infinity. Oh, yeah, you can. Ooh, yay. Okay, so we're going Gordon Freeman on this. There we go. Gordon Freeman. Okay, great. I needed ammo. And that. Anything else I can break while I'm here? There is something I remember I can do. Ooh. Let me just turn on the light, because I thought... Ooh, fishies. Here we are. Ha 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 ha. That's what I wanted. Can you tell I've played this game a lot? It's been a while, but still... Okay, I don't need to go there, but I did want to just get that one box. Come on, get out of the water. And I don't need to have that on now. Okay, so here we go. I got my crowbar in hand, um, and I can tell you that I could just start using this, but it's really not going to be great. Uh, okay, so we're, we're going to just kind of walk up. Okay. If you want to make a covert approach, Oops. remember the Academy yeah. Stealth Course. Uh oh. Stay out of their field of view. Walk slowly to stay quiet. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just cover. gonna go. Or if you have to get your excuse hands dirty, me. Remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. So I've already messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> I already made a calculated mistake. See, that's the thing. Stealth is great. You gotta actually utilize it though. Um, I forgot. This is. Oh no. Oh no! Come, come on! Stun! I failed an achievement! I just started! Oh no. I have failed an achievement. I don't even know what the achievement was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a good one, I guess. We Okay. Now to jump. Come on. Now, if you're wondering how you get up here... My hands are... Okay. The... Put... Get... Get... There we go. Do 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 Perfect. Whee! Okay. Alright, and actually, I think I could just... Can I toss this? Yeah. I could toss that. Great. <gasps> Gas grenade! Okay, um, how do I get my inventory? Here we go. Inventory! Uh, this is actually where I can set some things up here. Do, 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 do. do I need... What do I not need equipped? This is a good place to figure out what I don't actually need equipped into my hotkey. My hot bar here. Okay. This is good. This is good. Thank you. Yes, the unicorn. That snowball. Uh, there, there's a whole legend about him, but we, we won't go into that right now. Um, 
but uh, I will say, Snowball, the I want to make sure that uh, we have his full title in there while we happen to be here. Um, <laughs> okay, jump back into the game. Just wanted to check my messages. Because for some reason this doesn't like to just uh, be in a screen like off to the side so that I can monitor stuff. I don't know why. I, I did try. I have the effects down to like three and it still feels very loud. But okay. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly how lethal I want to be. I mean, I had the one guy that I didn't technically ki I didn't technically kill him. The, I I just ran away, and other people did that. So I think that I am good. But uh, I do have I I got the. Oh, I don't actually have much charge for this. I have one... I have one ammunition, shocky ammunition. Oh, no! I forgot there's this guy. Is that a guy? Oh, here's a dude. Here's a dude. He's just standing there. I think we've got an in... That's him. He's a cop. Okay. Oh, no. These guys aren't so tough. Okay, well, at least I can go fix my problem. See, this game is not for the faint of heart. Okay. Load game, please. Load. Because I haven't technically done anything wrong. I'm back to having not done anything wrong. This is why stealth mechanics are so important in this game. Because they're not gonna let you off the hook. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn from my lesson here. And after I go collect my things. After I go collect my stuff, I'm going to just save. Before I actually engage. Uh do, 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 do. I don't need trash cans. I don't like trash cans at all. Trash cans are stinky. I'm going in here. Go get my crate again. Yay. Get my multi-tool. Honestly, I don't really remember if there's much that I can use the multi-tool on at this point. To be completely honest. I don't really remember. Oh, I'm on auto run. Okay. Okay. Save. Yes, I'm going to save scum a lot here, just for the record, because, um, well, you just saw. Okay, so I'm going to try to be sneaky now. Sneaky. Uh-oh. If you want to make a covert approach, what? remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of okay. view, walk Now's slowly the to time. stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Okay. Are you ready? This is the power of Trank Darts. I keep failing the thing. Oh, there must be an achievement if you take out every single person. But there might also be an achievement if I don't. So let's see here. Right, there's this guy. He always comes up and I'm gonna see if I can... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can't take him out. If you don't get a headshot though with the Trank gun, just for the record, they'll run away like that. And they'll run away so far that um, you won't really be able to stop them and they'll alert other people, so you don't want that to happen. Okay. I'm gonna just go up here. Take some... Take one ammunition. Thanks. I feel so happy now that I have the one ammunition. Oh. Cool. Alright, anything else over here that I wanted to get? Ooh. No. Hi. Hey, what the hell? What? It's me! Welcome aboard, Agent. Did you not know who I was? 
All right, so just going around the back of the building. For the record, this is the Uneco headquarters. I don't know if it's easily labeled there. I'll just make sure you can see the front. This is actually, after we get done here at the statue, that's where we're going to be headed. Can I get in here? <gasps> I can. You're just kidding around, right? Oh, uh, you know what? They're, it's, um... Freight base is under lockdown until the danger's gone, Agent They do Denver. recognize if right. you are aiming a gun. How are you guys them? holding up? Unetco Command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to go in. Wait. I gotta say this while I do this, right? I can't speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nanoogs are born and bred yeah. killers. I do my best. Don't worry. Better load up. Don't There's work. some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the combat next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. They my don't. tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say 200 for one and oh. 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. Uh, well, obviously, I want trank guns. The scope, that's, I don't have enough credits for it anyway. But the thing about it is, is that there is actually a mod system in here. So if you did have rifles and, and even for, I think, the trank guns and stuff, if you get red dot sights or anything like that, you can manually mod them. Uh, also for, like, accuracy mods and uh, ammo mods. And if you wanted to get into console codes, you could actually, I tried this once upon a time, you could actually just spam, just spawn in all of the <laughs> possible mods, and they'll just let you keep stacking it if you just wanted to have guns that have 100% accuracy. If you really wanted to. I'm not going to do that, because <laughs> I don't know how to do that on this one. But here's 60 for the Trank Dart. Here's 60 for the Tranquilizer Darts. Time to clean house. Four. Okay. Worth it. Um, he doesn't have anything else hiding around here, right? He doesn't. But he did give me a code. First of all, let me just bang, bang this up here. And he gave me a code. Wait, I forgot what the code was. Oh no, I forgot the code. Oh! Hold it a second. Conversations. Uh, oh, I think it's just in notes, right? Do I? Yes, Comvan code 0451. Okay, 0451. Great. Here we go. 0451. All right, thank you for giving me all the stuff. More Trank Darts! Okay, we are loaded. There are a lot of people here, though. Um... Oh, gee, how does this work? There we go. Okay, camera status. I'm just going to turn that off. Unlock, please, and open. And let's log out before the icebreaker ends. Oh, look at this very happy place where I can go down and I get an exploration bonus. EMP! Yes, EMP. Thank you. Okay, why do I need an EMP? Um, so, here's the thing. This location covers up the text. Good point. Can do. One second. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Let me try that. Oh, no, actually, you know what? I can put myself up in the corner. Look at that. Save. That might be handy. Now, you don't need to see what's up in that little corner anyway. Nothing happens up there. <laughs> it's boring. Uh, now you can actually see what my tools loadout is in the text. So, let me know if that works. I'm going to get back to uh, playtime. Let's see here. 
Okay. Do 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 do. All right. Now I don't remember. Oh right, I can't get in there yet. Can't get in there yet. That's okay. Not really a thing we need to do right now. Technically, I have autosave on, but I think it only saves between areas, so I'm going to make sure to save out here, because as you can see, this is a very deadly game. I got shot, like, two times out of nowhere, and that didn't end well for me, so I'm just going to save real quick. Save. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so now the next question is, I have two directions I can go. I can try to go around the back of the statue, or I can go straight up and try to go through the doors. I'm going to tell you that the door option is not easy. Uh, it is very heavily guarded, and there are, like, machine turrets there. And if you want to be sneaky about it, you kind of have to go the other way. Uh, so I'm going to start off this way, and actually... Is there a thing I can do here? I want to say there's a thing I can do here. Um, I think there's an upgrade module. And if I can, I can upgrade my strength. Which would be great. Um, oh! You know what we're gonna do? Didn't I have a gas grenade? Oh, right. Do, 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 do. I forgot, I need something in this box. You might recall that a second ago, before I died, there was this thing where I had a gas grenade. I want the gas grenade, because I'm going to need it now. There are two guys, they are right next to each other, and I really, really want to take them out as quickly as possible. So, let's just do that. Seven. Okay. Back in business. I'm gonna just go stealthy. And I think I can throw... Okay. Again, I'm saving all the time because I'm not good at games. Alex knows for uh, for the record I'm not good at games. Uh, okay, not good at games. There, I said it on camera, so it's true. Okay, so if I can throw this in that general direction. I should be at... Ooh, there's another guy coming. They're kind of in the shadows right now. Now, if he gets close enough, I think I can take out all three. If so, I'm definitely saving this, because this is this will be the most advanced move that I have ever made. Take him out. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, does this not kill them? Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Ready? There. Run away! Now this is what I signed on for. Okay. I have forgotten something. Gas grenades do not... That was the trank dart. That was the trank dart. Happy now, Alex? Shown you that I, I literally am terrible at games. Okay, so. Um. 
All right, so gas grenade's not really going to work in this case. Let me just see here. I have four ammo for the for the prod. Um, I think what I could do, if they don't notice you, you can pretty much uh, knock them out with the one hit. So I'm just gonna see. Ooh, I can actually lean. Okay, great. I'm just gonna kind of come up behind you. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. All right. Uh. Okay. Okay. I guess now's as good a time as Eddie. Perfect. And you down. And you down. Okay, great. And get the wow, six ammo. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. Maybe it's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> As I immediately abandon my my non-lethal playthrough here. Um I only have one ammo for this. I had a baton. Where'd my baton go? Do I have a baton? Oh, I have one. I just haven't used... Okay. Sorry. Forgot about that. I actually do have that. Um, uh, I'm gonna... I think I've taken two points. Oh, great. Heal for two points. That's great. Only about 60 more points to go. Ooh. There we go. In a pinch. This works. Anybody down here? Uh, okay. I really want to say that there's something I'm forgetting. But I don't honestly remember what it is. Oh, I know. Save again. Usually those saves, when this game first came out, took about, like, 30 seconds. Oh. I know what's going on. There's a dude. Back here somewhere. Isn't there? There's a dude. I want to say there's a dude here. Now, if you really want to do stealthy stuff, you also have to hide these bodies because it will alert guards. But um, at the moment, I'm Thought not. Thought I saw someone. I got, I got this. Why are you up there? Oh, let's get the hell out of here. And this is why we save. Crate puns. Crate puns. Well, you know, do what you have to do. All right. It is, it is a creative game. Um, all right. So anyway, in case anyone's wondering, what I forgot is apparently this guy. Oh, come on. How the hell? Okay. Where? Oh, I can. I can. Oh, he's got something I want. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, fine, folks. If you really want to be that way. And I'm taking my 30 hot six. Uh, okay, and I'm just gonna use. Why not? Heal, heal a couple points for reasons. Um, 
your inventory is very sparse in this game. This really, I don't think this actually upgrades. I think this is pretty much all the space that you have. So you do have to think a little bit critically about what you want to hold on to. Eventually, yeah, like base damage. The, the, the knife actually makes a lot more sense than the crowbar. They're both considered lethal. And then this is actually considered a non-lethal baton. But, um, oh, is this a 40? Oh, okay. Drinking on the job. Uh, all right, so here we go. Okay, so I have, what, four rounds of ammo or something like this? Hold it a second. Oh. That haze, that's not the, that's not the gate. Oh, there we go. Woo! Man. Uh, huh. Seven. I think the, um, yes, the, okay, I just need to remember what key my, uh, my scope was on. Anyway, um, yes, I'm saving again. No, I don't apologize. I never do. All right, so... Moving around. Oh, shoot. Two of these dudes again. Okay, this is really where the crossbow helps out. Because if I can just smack one of these guys in the head, I think the other guy doesn't even know. Okay. This is the reason why your handheld weapons are really useful. But until you get higher levels of this, this is... That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? He cut off his arm, placed half his face. They're talking about Herman. Herman, right? He's a good soldier. Killed three of our men. They'd have replaced his whole body if it would have improved performance. That's how you judge a man, by performance. Yes. And eventually it's not about people, but upgrades, versions, functionality. All I know is we could use a few mechs for ops like this. As soon as we buy into the cult of the machine, we're just like them. Rhetoric. Always more rhetoric. Okay, I'm gonna try... Huh? To smack him in the head. Take him out. There you go. Yeah, he'll fall. Yep. Thank you! How about you? Thank you. Oh, I got my drink dart back. Very handy. All right, so who else is around here? Ugh. That two more dudes. Is that the mech? There's, there's also a mech around here. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Ooh. Is that that building? Oh, yes. So there's something in that building I want. Oop. But that guy I don't want. Let me see if I can get this guy out of the picture. I want to try and get this guy out of the picture. I can tell you from experience, this guy always ends up being a pain in my neck. the unfortunate thing is that I do have to move very slowly in order to get behind him, and I do not have another option. I'm going to have to try and hit him. I got this one. Ow. How did I bleed out? I bled out for reasons after getting hit by a trank dart. Alright. Anyway. 
That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? He cut off his arm. I saw somebody. Ah! Maybe take him out. No! No, don't take me out! No! This one's a goner. This one's a goner. That's a... Uh, mm. All right, I gotta get smart. I only have 635 gigabytes of free space. Oh no, that can't be right. All right, you know, if you two are going to be like this, It's actually going to be easier to take this guy out first because they're looking away from me. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to just edge up here. Difference right there. Yeah. Just take a look at him. Oh yeah. Bad. He cut off his arm, replaced half his face. Herman, right? Huh? That's him. He's a cop. Be careful. These Unatco guys got all the tricks. Oh. Ah! Ow. Yeah, so you know how trank darts are real effective? That also counts for me. They can use them just as effectively as I can. But... But it's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What I'm gonna do... That's the difference right there. Just take a look at him. That something moved. Could be the law. Take huh? him out. That's him. He's a cop. Careful. These Unatco guys got all the tricks. I did this before. Oh my goodness. I did this before. I might just, I, I, I might just shoot them. Because now they're just annoying me. Ugh, come on. How close can I get? Oh, The problem is, is that since I'm untrained in rifles right now, this, this is going to keep happening. Oh my goodness. Okay, how am I going to address this issue? I have nothing in my cattle prod. That's annoying. But I do have ammo in my trank gun. So, let me see here. Okay. I'm going to take a stab here. Not an actual stab. But I, I'm going to just see if I can take out Mr. Mr. Tranky. Because that seems to be the that's thing that's That's the difference me. right there. Just take a look at him. Bad? He cut off his arm. Replaced half his... Uh -oh. I got this one. Take him out. Now I this run away. No, then I run away. Then I run away. <laughs> okay. So, you two are so annoying. Um, alright, let me see here. I'm gonna just... Okay, without this being too complicated... I'm just going to see if I can just be standing. And see if I can get them from here. Huh? Fascist. And duck. Ah! Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Suck it. And we're saving again. Always saving. Always be saving. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, I, um... Do I have any other... Ooh! I do have a non-lethal way that I can deal with them. I forgot about this. I have a baton! There we go. Here we go, baton. Okay. Um, where is... There's a dude, and he is walking around the structure, and I know that because I need to get into that structure. He's probably not anywhere nearby. Oh, there's another fun thing for me. I say fun in the most uh, loose term possible. Is um, the game performance has upgraded tremendously since the last time I played. My performance, on the other hand, much worse. I am no, I don't think I'm very good at this anymore. Um, uh, oh, I have to trade out. The game has aged better than I have. Take him out. No! No! Now this is what this I was must for. have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. No kidding. I love that he has to explain to me that electrical arcs are bad to pass through. I don't remember if, like, when I was a younger man and I heard something like that, I was like, ooh, you're gonna pass through. When it's electric blue, you don't necessarily think you're... Oh, yeah, I'm... Oh. There was an achievement. Okay, well, I've come this far. <laughs> I've come this far. If there's an achievement, I guess I can do it. I can't do both achievements at the same time. There's one achievement, I guess, for taking everybody out, and there's one for not taking anybody out. For taking everybody out. But I can't do both. That's okay. I'm just going to pick and choose. I've been doing non-lethal, so I'm going to just do non-lethal. I guess. If I have to. So, the thing about it is, you can actually... Hold a second. Thought I saw a pig. Let's get the hell out of here. I just want to see how long it takes him to go down. There it is. Great. All right. Okay. Mini crossbow. Also, um, okay. Let us attempt to do this again. First of all, let me just see if I can take... I'm just gonna go here. Does he have a crossbow? He does. Ooh. Then I want this. I want to take this guy out. I need to take this guy out. It's necessary for me. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Thank you. This, by the way, is a way that I can actually get up to the higher level without having to go through the main uh, building. The main building. Careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. I don't want that to happen. My bioelectrical energy is important to me. Okay, so first of all, here's a data cube. What was that? Smash the state. Oh, uh, what was the password? NSF01. Now, they should just tell me. Okay. Button? If you're trying to get. Oh, man. No. Down. Okay, so here's how you deal with this problem. Come on, up onto the box. Oh, uh, you know what? I can actually take care of it this way too. You could either try to jump over this, but also I have a I have a tool here. Let's just do that. This is gonna be just easier for me. I have tools. 
I have the skills to pay said bills. Let's just get this. <gasps> a bio cell, yes. Anything else? Ooh, a fire extinguisher. Okay, there's a mod for the clip. I like that. I want that. Give. And can I just toss this down for a second here? Ammo, especially at the beginning of the- Ooh, a laser! Yes, please! Okay, I'm gonna save before I do this modification stuff, but I definitely want to use these. Okay, so, let's see here. Um, weapon clip for the 30-06 or, uh, for the thing. Here's weapon laser- laser- freaking lasers. I definitely want that for the trank gun. And I can't put this on the other things. What do I have for ammunition here? Base damage, I get a little bit more. I, I am not good at this. I am not good at using rifles. Shoot. Um, do I get a bonus? I do get a bon 20% bonus and less reload time and better accuracy. And yes, it does have a laser sight now. Anyway, uh, okay, so... I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure which one I want to put that on. Uh, we're we're going to hold off on doing the other thing. But now, when I do this... Ooh, I've got a laser dart! Okay, I've got a dart sight now. This is good. There's three more guys over there. Considering how well this has been going for me, I probably will just try to avoid them. However, there is something over here that I think I want to do. Oh, right. There's a gate over here. And that is a mech. That is a walking turret, and it will take me out in about three seconds if I am not cautious. Um, but I should be able... Can I get in here? happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks Yeah, now. I need to... I need to talk to Harley. Uh, okay. Whoops. Back up here. Why are you... No, just... Go away. Okay, that's where his... That's where his pathing is. Okay. So, the smartest thing for me to do... Is to just get up onto the top here. Now, noting that I'm not exactly smart... Smart usually doesn't factor into my planning, but for this game, I very much need to be smart. Okay, I'm about to try something. I'm about to try something. I swear I heard something. Thought I saw something. Guy in a coat. That didn't work. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. I got time. I know I heard something. Thought I saw something. A guy in a coat. All clear. Take him out. Okay. And we're good. Okay. I'll take your darts, and I'll take your ammo. Thank you very much. Okay, I have rockets now. So, oh yeah, a TNT crate. Yeah, if we wanted to do lethal, I would have just hit that. And that pretty much ends my... 
that's pretty much the end of the problem. Um, there's also a box, I think. We have a medical supply crate. Thank you. I could use that. Yeah, because my torso is not great, and also my arm is basically non... non-functional here. Um, Alright, so that's Harley Philbin. So we're gonna talk to him in a second. Save. About time you showed up. Mm. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander and I don't want to see him get hurt. Here's a picture so you don't make a mistake. Uh, you, you can trust me. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'll take, take out your the word. Commander. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. Fair. Well, right now I'm uh, I'm I'm not really in. Uh, ooh, ship wheel. Fun. Oh, right. Uh, full coffee mug. Oh, good. You with Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 out 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said, keep your head down. <laughs> like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can add the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely smarter. Uh, this is pretty much what they do for the store. Like, there's not a really a big currency market, but any uh, credits that you use uh, are, are done through these individual vendors. Um, what do I want? Do I want anything? I don't think right now I even want anything. Darts. I'll give you 50 for the darts. The commander's the whole reason my neighborhood turned into a war zone. Somebody should stick him full of these things like a roast pig. So, at any rate, um... She's, she's charming. Uh, now, there is something... Oh, man, I don't think I can breathe long enough to do this part. If you have swimming skill... Did I take swimming? What's my skills? I have 750. I am untrained in swimming. Oh, but I have enough swim. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing. I'm going to upgrade swimming because I can get into this boat. I don't know how many people know about these things, but it's just from spending so much time. Okay. After you play the game enough times... Yeah, my O2 meter is low. So what I'm going to do is I picked it. And I'm going to go back up. No fish. Two meter back. Because once you're trained in swimming, it becomes a whole lot easier to do this. And I get my shotgun. I get... I get another mod. And now I can go up. Cool. That's what I wanted. Okay, so let's just check out my loot. Okay, so now, if I want to, I got myself this auto shotgun. And this will also have Sabo rounds, which are like the white powder ones. Those are pretty great. Um, so I uh, got that now. I'm going to just... Yeah. Excuse you, JC. Jeez. Um, and, uh, what do I have? I have the reload mod, which I'm definitely gonna want to use for the trank gun, thank you. And, uh, an accuracy mod, and I'm also gonna use it for the trank gun. Trank gun is kind of your bread and butter, if you don't want to go lethal. If you want to go lethal, you can always use 
the pistol, uh, but really if you have 30 out six, it's uh, it's pretty great. Uh, that's my tip for the day, by the way. If you have if you have 30 out six ammo, you're in great shape. I was recently actually playing a game uh, suggested by a couple uh, people who are here right now. That was um, the hunter. And in that game, um, one of the, the DLC packs is for a, a 30 out 6 rifle. So I'm using that now, just for the record. Um, I have one grenade. These are the EMPs. Creates a localized pulse. That I just want to check on one thing that will temporarily disable all electronics. Uh, our largely infected equipment has shown that it will cause a spontaneous dissipation of stored bioelectric energy. Yeah, so you have to be a little careful when it comes to these grenades, because if you are in the vicinity, it will mean that your augs don't necessarily work for some time. Uh, this is the aug menu, just in case you're wondering. Um, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, uh, and if we get aug canisters, I'll be able to upgrade some of these, I think. Uh, I think I have access to... No, I, I can't actually claim that I have access. Um, oh, I gotta do something about that damn um, walking turret. The hands are full. Okay. So, let's try something. I can't remember if this works or not. But for some reason, I thought it did. If I... This this turret's gonna be a pain in my ass. Sorry for my language, but it's true. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to get out my gun. I'm going to wait... Till this thing... Is there... That's how we deal with mechs. I'm, uh... I just hate text. Oh, these are explosive barrels, too. Oh, right, I could have just done the here, too. Oh, uh, well, I might need that in a minute. Uh, speaking of which, let's just see here. Do, do, do. This is the problem with the not being trained in this, is that you, you're, it's basically impossible to aim through scopes. It's virtually impossible to aim through scopes. Neko personnel only. Alright. Okay, you know what, um, normally what I would do at this point is I would, like, try to go through and just try to take out everybody. But honestly, I, I, don't, I don't really want to do that right now. I think what I'd like to do is I'm going to try to get up to the commander. I might try to rescue Harriman. But it's kind of funny if you don't. Because then he berates you later. You didn't come to save me, Agent, Agent Denton. Okay, age. Uh, okay, Gunther, but you know. And if you if you do solve this problem, they will uh, arrest everybody afterward. So I'm probably just going to. Can I? Is there anything back here? If you think the darkness settings on this are a little bit bad, if you saw what the original looks like right now. I tried it on just training just to see, and it was not good. good. Thinking. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. Yeah, actually, you get to avoid a lot of security. Um. No. Is there something up there? I don't think so. Okay. Um. All right, let's see if I could just jump across. There we go. This is where it's very creative. All right, I need to figure out 
Oh man, I need to I need to take that with me. Shoot. Can I grab that? I don't think I can grab that. Right. Take it. Thank you. Whoop. Yay. Okay. Let's pop that there. Uh, correction. Pop that there. Okay. No. Okay, thank you. Down. Up. Alright. So this is where things get a little spicy. Because I think I can make this jump. But again, I haven't played this game for a while, so I don't remember exactly what kind of spacing I need. There we go. Okay, great. And if you think I aren't I'm not saving after I successfully accomplish this. Let me turn the light on so I can see what's going on, please. Whoop! For portal fans out there. There we go. Okay. Those two guys are over there. I'm just gonna get up. Yeah, there's plenty of people up here. No! No! Oh, shoot. That's definitely not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, where's the thing? Okay, yeah. Can you... Now, this is what I signed on for. Okay, so the lesson we take away from that, by the way, is make sure to save before you get into the firefight. Just a general, just generally a good rule of thumb. Save before. Second, you might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. I thought so. That was the plan. All right. Can I toss this over there? Yes. Yes, I can. Can I get this guy here? This guy up there. Yep. I'm bringing an extra box with me this time. If you have the strength mod, I believe... Um, you can actually uh, move a large box at this point, which is incredibly helpful. But I don't need that right now. Okay, and... Come on, get up. Get up here. Grab Mr. Box. Put Mr. Box there. Okay, and before I go up here... Okie dokie! Now, I don't know how they somehow saw me. From over there. Oh, it is so tempting to just blow them up with the damn... It is very tempting. I'm not going to do it, but it is sorely tempting to just blow them up with the TNT box. Okay, we're going to go behind this guy. I think I, um, ugh, if I do this right, I can just, I can just 
thwonk him on the back. Thwonk. That's my word for the day. Thwonk him on the back of the head. And we'll be in great shape. Here we go. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Thank you. Now. I believe I can... Can I get around here? Oh, man. Okay. Stealth is fun, but stealth can also be really slow. Stealth fun, stealth slow. That door is my goal. No, I am not going into the lower levels. I'm just... I, I just... I don't want to take the time, honestly. Before I go and engage this guy... Oh, I'm saving all the time. You've seen how many times I've died already. Trust me on this. It's gonna be worth it. Okay. There we go. This guy with damn trank darts. I want your damn trank darts. You're pumping me through full of them. Here. Watch this. Smack. Oh! Hey! No! Come back here. No. No. You run away from me when I try to smack you with a... That'll teach you. That'll teach you. Try to run away from me. You don't get to run away from me. Johnny Law. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so got two guys over there. Uh, okay, that goes to the lower levels. This is going to go up. I think that there's other guys that are in the top of the tower. I can't remember. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. You ever have that point where you're pretty sure this game is so dark? It is by nature. I will actually say that. I think that it's mostly... Um, it was mostly built that way uh, because it is always set at night. All of the stuff is set at night. In later games in the series, there were daytime sections. But, uh, but it is by nature set uh, pretty dark. I might be able to do one thing, though, if it's getting a little bit difficult to see. Hold on one sec. Let me just check, because I think I might be able to do... I might be able to solve that problem. Oh, yeah, adjust brightness. Can I bring that... Can I bring that up a bit? Oh, my God! Maybe not quite that much. Let's try that. Hey, look at that! Okay. Oh. I'm crying because I'm so happy. Isn't that great? Oh, I should really pay attention. Okay. Here we go. Um, I got a rangefinder on this, apparently. What are you doing? Oh, shoot. This guy. Yeah, come around the corner. Hey, you ain't gonna get me. Gotcha. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. It's just not happening. When I went to try and adjust brightness settings when it was on the original, not the, uh, the remaster, the, the revision, it didn't matter how much my sliders went up and down, it looked exactly the same. Again, something that is very much improved by what they've done here. Uh, okay, so there's actually more to this level. Like, I'll show you once we take care of this guy. You don't have to go through the whole thing. Really. Um, 
I will, however. Okay, disarm that grenade. Definitely don't want that grenade going off. It's, uh, it's going to make my day really suck. Um, okay. I love when things are going well, and that just makes me worry that things are going to go terribly. Okay, I can... <clears throat> I think I can pass by them. Oh, I don't even have to, do I? Oh, <gasps> right. I forgot about that. What did I just pick up? What did I just pick up that I can utilize right now? <gasps> Gas grenade! There. Now, did I take a little bit? This is why we save the game. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to get that back equipped. While I'm here, oh, right, I have other gas grenades I can grab. I'm going to grab you, and is there another one? I thought there was another one. Maybe I should take care of these two first, and then I'll take, then, then, then I'll go looking for stuff. That's uh -oh. him. He's a cop. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta do something about that. Alright. So, first things first. Uh, health. Okay, yeah, 16 for my torso is not... Yeah, there we go. This should be helpful. Because when I get down to that much, the base damage, I when I throw it, it's a, it's like 12. Um, okay, so... We're just gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the other gas grenades. Okay, great. I got you. Fascist. And now... <sighs> Okay, and you're down, and I'm happy. Okay, now let's just check all the corridors. There we go. Okay, we're looking good. Yeah, well, except for except for that. But okay, just gotta wait for this to dissipate. Hello, DC! While I'm waiting to, for the gas to dissipate, I thought I would check in on chat. Um, yeah! Welcome! The game, the game is apparently dark and creative. Those are the comments that I've been getting right now. Um, Snowball approves. That's something. Uh, we're, we're in, we're in Deus Ex. I'm in the Statue of Liberty and, uh, trying to, trying to see if I can't subdue a bunch of these knockoff foot soldiers. That's what I'm working on. Okay, yeah, can you come in here? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I think it's at this point that I'm pretty much able to just, uh, finish up this, this level. I, what I can show you, though, real quick, real quick, I, it's it's just, it's going to take some time, and honestly, I'm going to get into a giant-ass firefight that I don't really want to get into, but down here, if we if we keep going down, this is how you would normally get up, uh, yeah, see the, see these turrets and such? If you, if you want to rescue Harriman, which you do get extra, you do get extra money for, but honestly, it's just, it's going to... It's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna just have to deal with this part first. And, uh, go back and, and do that. It's just gonna take too long, and I'm gonna die a whole lot. So, the next thing that we do 
is we just got to go and apprehend the leader, the NSF commander Good. here. You're nearing the command center. Yes. Agent Herman remains in captivity on the ground floor, but we can probably get him out. You will. Keep moving. Also, Herman's a jerk, so I don't really mind keeping him there. Uh, <laughs> they'll extract him. They'll extract him. It's fine. I just, I... He will make note that I Some did news, not JC. come to save him. The NSF him. targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. Yes, He'd he like will. like to interrogate him. He, he will. Um... Ugh. Something moved. Like Billy the Kid, Could man. Be a law. We're outlaws. I guess it's nothing. Huh? I got this. That's him. He's a. <laughs> <laughs> and no one's the wiser. I. My health is in bad shape. <laughs> Change my switch category? Ooh, how can I do that? One second. Games. What can I change it to? Oh, I can change it to that. How, how am I twitching now? I didn't know that there were individual games. I knew that there was something that I could do. I couldn't remember how to do it. Thank you, DC. The thing is, is that I'm I'm working on the new uh, Twitch Studio stuff, so this is all kind of new to me. Um, like I like I said in the post, um. It's mostly fun to watch me see what I can screw up because I knew that it wasn't going to go perfectly according to plan. However, easy. We want you to take this one alive and conscious. It's not a problem. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. All right, there's the commander. This is what we were waiting for, and I get a skill bone. I'm just going to go around this thing and just look. Hello. And I want this augmentation canister. Don't shoot. I surrender. Yep. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Can I choose something like that? Um, no, I'm not going to send it back. Tell, tell me about the shipment, or trips pick you up as, as prisoner instead of a corpse. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Did Where you? Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well, just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single they don't really want you up. to talk to him again. One, in 1945, don't bother talking to him anymore. We're good. Federal taxes. Now they pay about five percent. Number two, in 1900, 90 percent of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about two percent. So, it's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. That's encouraging. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is handpicked. 19 of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. That thing. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. 
I love it that they're bringing in a whole bunch of things. Like, the thing that's interesting about Deus Ex, this is supposed to be 2052, and, like, every single secret society that has been in human history somehow factors into this storyline. <laughs> and I think it's why it's so impenetrable. Like, I've played this game so many times, and I still do not really understand what is going on. Uh, it's, it's, it's... By the time, like, the Knight Templar and the Illuminati show up... Yeah, it's, um... It's that kind of thing. There's there's a, a whole French resistance movement. Uh, there there's um, what, the, aliens. I hate to spoil a twenty year old game, but yeah, no aliens are a thing. So <laughs> the Greys, they're doing genetic research on them. Um, but anyway, now that they've all been arrested, and I can get my soy. <laughs> my my soy packets all right did you oh yeah the one other they problem sent us in to pick up the pieces we've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions ah darn unfortunately they have already searched the bodies okay hack please I'm gonna hack this banging thing do 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 All right, I would like to withdraw everything, please. Thank you. Ooh, can I drink some? Yeah, I healed one point because of the water. Great. So, I can't get any ammo off of them. Great. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, but I do want to pick up some stuff. Oh, And now the other fun part about Deus Ex, inventory management. Uh, so we're going to just get rid of a couple things here. I don't need my crowbar. I don't. Okay, let's just get rid of those because I want my lockpick. Uh, turrets and cameras. Yeah, we've already taken care of that, so... This is where Gunther would be. Gunther slipped out on his own. Report back to base. Okay, Gunther, if you say so. Ooh, I can get wine. Whoops. Ah! I'm stepping on all the mice. Uh, is there anything else? I think that there's stuff. Well, don't you look good. That's a lie. All right. Checking down here. Seeing what we have. There is, I think, a way to get in here from, like, a sewer system. This is where this part comes in. I can't quite remember. Oh, no. It's locked. Uh, oh, well, if only I had a lock pick. Do I want to use it here? Is this a door I can take down? Door strength. If I had a grenade, I could actually do that. Um, all right. Because I think there's something back there I want. At least I think there's something that I want. Oh. Thank you, Lunar Sec. And Hunden Halls got a couple followers. Terrific. Thank you for joining us. All right. Now, here we go. So I uh, have. We. Here we go. The lock pick. I'll get more lock picks. Um, trash can. No. Okay, I got the multi-tool thing. Let's just get the light on here. 
I think you can get a flashlight at some point too, which is pretty great. But um Oh damn. Oh no, they're still working ones. Shoot, I knew I shouldn't have broken into that yet. You, if, I think there's a guard that's normally posted here, and I might be able to kind of, like, take a little trank dart to him from here. Um, but, uh, there's an ATM, there's another ATM around, I'm sure. I can't remember where, but... Where did this go? I honestly don't remember exactly the layout to this building. Um... Because it has been a little bit of time for me. So I'm trying to... Oh, right, 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 right. It comes up in here. So, useful to note for future reference. I'm going to go and break up... Five, please. I'm going to smack this open for health. There's my med kit. And can I own one of this? Yeah, see, if you do a frontal assault here, there's one mobile turret here, and NSF then... had a commercial-grade security bot in this there area, are turrets but one of our there. soldiers zapped its electrical system with an EMP grenade. Thank you. Much appreciated. If you were doing a lethal run, too, there is... If you ever wanted to play this game yourself. I believe back here... There is a control panel of some kind. Oh, man. I can't get in there yet. I do not have the ability to get in there. Shoot. I might have to pick up some picks. But there is a control panel, and you can actually take over the mobile turret if you have a hacking skill. And then uh, he just starts attacking the guys, which is pretty great. Um... Okay, so I have that crate I'm going to have to deal with in a minute. And was there anything else back here that I needed to do? I don't think so. I don't find anything. It's so much nicer walking around this island when I'm not worried about constantly dying. I, I have already died so many times. It is not hard. I am on medium difficulty setting. But honestly, like you can see, I've, I've probably taken a, a couple hits to the chest. And if I take one more, I'm, I'd basically go down right now. I need to, I need to heal. Alright, let's just see here. Nope, not finding anything there. Trash cans, all you do with trash cans is just pick them up. I don't need that. Okay, let's just put that away and... Alright, so I have explored Liberty Island, and if I get a chance, I will probably try to... There's a pepper gun. I don't have... Oh, prod charger, yes. Okay. Uh, is that a thing I need? That's not a thing I need. Oh, there's a pepper spray thing, though, and I'd like to have the little pepper gun. Um, shoot. Um, okay, let's just get drunk. Very, very, very drunk. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then see if I can actually grab that. Okay. Hi. Don't worry about the bodies. Yeah. We'll handle the cleanup. You see my brother? Someone should have put a slug in the commander's head. I was specifically told not to do that. That was like everybody told me not to do that. You're you're a towel. Oh, there's my brother. Okay. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. Like a statue. So they were after Ambrosia. Mm. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I sure didn't know have. you, Natco, handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. 
UNACO makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. So far, so good. Uh, anybody else I need to talk to? Anything else I need to do? There is that chest I'd like to get into. I forget what's in there. I think it's something good. Um, I'm not inside. quite... I'll meet you in Manderley's office. I'm not quite done in New York, though, so I think I can... I hear you just slipped by a lot of the terrorists. Pretty smart. Thank you! It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. Philip Mead. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you ever meet him in the game. Alright, so, let's see. Save this room right here. We're gonna go into UNACO headquarters. Check in with Manderley on level two. Planning on it. That is way faster than it used to be. Okay, we're about to go into UNACO headquarters. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's see here. We're it's almost round two. Gonna just ooh, pixel graphics. Aren't those fun? Uh, just coming back here. Uh, so that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea, at least, of the first part. I'm gonna show you a little bit of Unaco inside uh, the thing. What's really neat is that uh, we're gonna have interactions with some of the characters uh, that are gonna involve what just happened. Um, Herman is definitely going to want to uh, talk to me about how I didn't bother to save him. Um, and and I, I like the fact that the game is a little bit reactive. We haven't exactly left Liberty Island at the moment. Uh, but I am going to take a slight break. I am just going to make sure that I am fueled up and ready to go uh, for this next chapter, which is not particularly long. Um, but there's, there's another section, I think, before we go to, is it Hell's Kitchen? I want to say there, there's one more thing. Uh, and we're going to do that. I'm going to be back in just one second, and we will, uh, look into that, okay? So, back in a minute. And, uh, Snowball is going to keep an eye on things while I'm here, just in case the whole system goes down. Uh, so far, by the way, just want to thank everybody who's been joining us. I, I can see that EXP Limited and Crave... And DC, I was noticing we're all in here, and a couple people had just recently followed us. So that's terrific. That's great. Uh, also, just wanted to say, a little throwback, for the record, just found this in the closet. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And also, just side note, these still don't work. I... I had these, I thought, well, this is great. I can look like J.C. Den on screen. But they don't. The the wire is too thin. The wire is too thin. Anyway, never should have transferred. If you are, <laughs> I'm just gonna mute that for a second here. Uh, anyway, uh, again, Deus Ex. Uh, and in case you weren't here before, because this is the original. This is the original disc. This is the OG. Okay from my Mac from 20 years ago. Booklet! I just love the fact that there's a booklet. I love there's a booklet that has to explain saving and loading. There's a whole section of the book that's just about to explain. And how to pause. That's great. I don't know if any of this is even relevant now. Greetings, Agent Denton. Goals and notes. So many fun things that you can learn about. There's a whole thing here about spy stuff. And there's a whole thing in here about... Uh... You still talking? Oh, yeah. I should have said that. in At the beginning, they were giving me a choice between either the 30 yard 6 rifle, the mini crossbow, which of course I want the mini crossbow... I did forget, though, there is another very good option, which is the GEP gun. For the record, this is what a GEP gun looks like. I wonder if I can see that. that that's, a, that's a guided explosive projectile gun. Basically, if you want, they will just give you a rocket launcher at the start of the game. 
And I did forget that because it is incredibly useful. So hopefully I'll get a chance to get my hands on it a little bit later because, um, yeah, it, it's, it, it actually has several different kinds of rockets that you can use as well. And that's very useful. So if you want, if you want to go, you know, big and loud, the Gep Gun is not a bad idea to use at the very beginning. Uh, okay, Deus Ex, and we will be back in a moment. I'm just going to make a note here. Back in, let's say, five minutes, okay? Back in five. That should be plenty ample time. Uh, and then we will uh, go into the next chapter of the game, where we get to deal with office politics. Excited? I know you are. Be right back. All right, and we are back. I know. My my five minutes away were mostly spent uh, trying to pet the cat because because uh, the cat came up and said, um, "You owe me some attention." I was like, I, I, I did not know you were so horribly neglected all this time. Um, but, uh, so anyway, but that's great. Uh, so we are going to delve back in. See what I did there? Yeah. Um, so someone's impressed with my brand management. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, when last we left our uh, nano-augmented agent, J.C. Denton, he had uh, been able to apprehend a terrorist leader uh, on Liberty Island, and he was about to head into UNATCO headquarters, where he gets to meet his colleagues and, you know, uh, do that, that whole thing where you have to talk to people and have inter-office politics with them. That's always fun. Well, anyway, um, that's what we're going to be doing now as we dig back in to the OG, the original Deus Ex, uh, the first in a franchise that um, had its ups and downs, but is, is still one of my favorite of all time, and uh, Deus Ex being very likely my favorite game of all time. Uh, and uh, now you get to see one of the more boring parts. It's the <laughs> but no, it's important. It's important stuff. Yes, I am indeed back, DC. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Back here we go. We. All right. So um, let's just see here. Just want to check on one thing here. Uh, okay. No, not not a thing. Okay, great. And let's just get back in. Okay. Your inventory fills up very quickly, so you really do have to think about what you want to use. Because um, I don't think in my augments. I have one augment canister. You're going to see how that gets implemented. Morning. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. I want your ammo. Okay, fine. Retinal scanner? Great. Those are also things that you could eventually bypass, but... Before the briefing, you've got to go to level three for your equipment and a medical examination. See yeah, no Jaime problem. Ray is in the med center and Sam Carter in the armory. Okay. Um... Yeah, my medical examination has to be, I need to really legit uh, get healed up. Now, in the original, before they did the revision mod, I don't believe they had, like, reflections like this. I would have to go back and look at the original. I can tell you, though, I had mentioned it early, but people weren't here at the, that time, that um, uh, I tried just playing it without the revision mod, just like a, a, a straight thing, and it is not built for modern hardware, the original Deus Ex. It, you go so quickly. Hell of a first day. Everything cuts off immediately because they probably never expected to be building the game for modern hardware. Uh, so... So it just becomes a real problem. Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. You you move you move so quickly, so fast, and also uh, if you want to do anything like I don't know, use stealth, it's it's near impossible. Your partner for the next assignment, Anna Navarra, is in the adjoining break room to the east. Maybe you should introduce yourself. Okay, yeah, I thought I had an ATM. I'm gonna just look here, ATM account 
two, three. Hold it a second. I'm going to see if I can copy that. Can I copy this? I hope I can. Four, five, five, eight. Four, five, five, eight. Walk in. Okay. I was only going to be working on the other thing. You can't actually... It's Mrs. Akmok! Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to the distractions of another agent who needs backup. I wear my Forgive sunglasses my at night. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to Why perform as well these? as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to I do more bring. than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to wipe out the enemy and then leave agents still captured in a locked cell. No problem. See, he's not happy with me. You will be working with Anna Navarra. Yeah, I know. I just met her. Anywho... Ooh, a candy bar! Oh, that's right. They're just gonna keep deducting money from my account if I click that. I don't want that. I'm not gonna heal... I could just sit here all day and just heal that way. Uh, soda, please. Alright, Gunther. I'm gonna go away now. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna go in here, but I think... I think there's something I actually need in the women's restroom. They will make mention that I got, came in here. No, there's nothing in here. Okay, never mind. You can also, yeah. Uh, know your enemy. Ah, yes. Here's where every single conspiracy theory in the world comes in, at every secret society. So there's the NSF, the National Secessionist Forces, that's the um, off-brand uh, foot soldiers that we were dealing with. Silhouette, that is the underground French resistance. The triads, yeah, they, they come into this too. When you go to Hong Kong, other threats. Um, yeah, Templars, X-51, did X-51 come into, I can't remember. Anyway, add to the data vault. All right, and, uh, there, okay. Everybody's involved. All right, so let's see if we can find out. Uh, Paul? This is your office, Paul? be based in okay I don't have anything that I need to grab while I'm here right can I access the terminal hack no Paul I'm not looking at your computer no apparently I'm not there's nothing there all right never mind never mind hey there we are Looking good. It looks like I'm smiling, or someone's smiling. Am I smiling? That is lore breaking. Nano Aug agents are not supposed to be able to smile. Fail. They failed at their own lore. I renounce everything that I've said about this game. Ow. Where am I even going now? Oh. Well, that was a roundabout way to get where I needed to be. Oh, I need picks. 
Why did I use that stupid pick for no good reason? Oh my goodness. Oh, I need a pick for this too. I need picks for everything. I need so I need a hundred picks. You found your office. Did Janice give you your login? I guess not. Let's see. JCD password Bionic Man. JCD. All right. JCD Bionic Man. Greetings and nanotech briefings. <laughs> Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Champagne wishes and nanotech dreams. I was asked by the regional medical coordinator to forward with this information to you. Uh, anything... Uh, your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concern that they will be walking junk. Oh, right. This is a... Uh... I, I believe this is a follow-up to this that uh, was a concern of Gunther Herman that they were going to become dinosaurs. If you noticed when I was talking to Anna Navarra and Gunther Herman, they have more, um, they, they have a bunch of mechanical upgrades and the agent that you and your brother are, you're, you're nanotech agents, you're the next generation of augmented soldiers. And, we finally got uh, to cap some rebels, they got again. They got a, a little bit of a chip on their shoulder because of that, because it uh, feels Way like go, they're becoming sir. obsolete. Uh, there's the gun range. Welcome to the gun show. Uh, do I get any? should have followed orders. Hello. Okay, apparently. Can I access the terminal? Anything else that... Uh... Do they... No, I don't need these anymore. What's over here? Ooh. Oh, right. Okay, let's go down and meet some of our friends. Right here, Stint. Uh, yeah, so... So they don't really mind... Like, here, they're not gonna mind so much if I break into stuff. They're gonna mind, um... In the hostile areas. Um, just watch the cleaner bot. Oh, oh! I'm gonna clean around me. Whoops! I'm. S well, that was a close one up there. Yeah, yeah. Did you get a good look at the action? While I did all the work. How unprofessional. Uh, uh, I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. I thought there was stuff in there I could get. You ever notice that in most games, rules go out the window because it's like, hey, there might be stuff that I can, I can steal. All right. Looks like you found me. Thank you. Zeitgeist Schadenfreude. Oh, right. I can get into Gunther's terminal. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry. We shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Ooh, Thanks. Dis. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. All right, so I'm glad that I checked in, but you have offered me nothing of use. Nothing, I say. It's gonna take me three. Th I think I can find that code somewhere. Uh, I don't remember where it is though. Ooh, these are giant cardboard box. The, ca the cardboard box is too heavy to... I need to get a strength mod. Are these breakable? Oh, yeah. Just, just, just smack them. <laughs> just smack... I can't lift the cardboard box, but I can smack... I thought that there was a thing back here. No? Okay. Put that away, though. They will notice that you have a weapon drawn. And they will care. Alright. So. What's over here, though? 
Medical drone! This is the nightingale. Hi, medical drone! First of all, health. I would like to heal everything. Okay, it's gonna recharge. Okay, augmentations. Okay, here's one of the primary mechanics of the game we get to check out. So, when you get a canister, you get to choose between two different augmentations to determine what is going to work best for you. For instance, this is going to determine our, um, our arm uh, augmentation. It is actually kind of important when you first get these to determine what you want to do for your playstyle because you will not be able to change them later. You can only use one of the two. Uh, so there's combat strength, which actually increases the effectiveness of melee weapons uh, to the point where if you get to tech level 4 with these, it becomes almost... It, it becomes pretty much instantly lethal to be using basically anything that's melee related. Um, it does use energy, 20 units a minute. Um, but realistically, the thing that I typically take is microfibril muscle, which means that my strength is increased and I can pick up larger and larger objects. Uh, so I am going to install it, and there are four levels to that. This is useful because when I get to those boxes and stuff and I need to move them around and everything, uh, I, I can increasingly do better at that. So I'm going to do my microfibril muscles. Uh, I can't get through here. Also annoying. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. There's Jaime. Hey, JC. Hey. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. <laughs> we'll have to catch up later. <laughs> I've got to leave for New York right away. <laughs> Could you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC, about your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green Haven't and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Aware. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, that you need a med bar for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, Remember others ROM? require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. I do like the idea that back in the year 2000, they were like, oh yeah, in 2052, ROM is just going to be a thing people know about. Med closet. Yeah, ROM! There we go. I wanted that. Thank you. Throwing knives. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up this micro. Whomp. Throw stuff all over the place. All right. Can I pick up the couch? Ooh, if I turn my... Oh, 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 wait. No, it's still too heavy to lift with my rope. Okay. There is some stuff that I can pick up, I believe, now that I have this. Uh, what's this? Is that a thing? No, that's just... Okay, never mind. That's just the terrain. Thank God my shift is almost over. I know, right? My shift is too. Okay. Yeah. Ease, general Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Um. Yes, I Smart need lockpick. Lock is always handy. Sorry, sir. I can't carry anything else right now. Uh, man. Okay, I gotta. Uh, I gotta figure out what I want to use. 
my goodness, I have so many things. Um... Okay, what what do I actually want here? I refuse to part with anything. Oh, now that I have the stealth pistol, it does less damage, but it is very useful. Also, recoil is so much less. And I believe the accuracy is not quite as great. It's a little bit less effective on the rooms. But the stealth pistol is pretty great. Okay, let me just pop that on there and just use these real quick great I'll probably eventually drop this this uses the same ammunition so it's not really a big deal I have 60 rounds already wow 15 for this and I only have four I'll probably get rid of that uh, but anyway see a uh, yes the smart lock pick is always that's right hey oh Kaplan right oh, so we've got some screwballs around here but he's not the problem it's whoever's been breaking into the armor. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Oh, yes, yeah. sir. And a damn good one. That's right. A little side mission. I can't mission. wait to get to New York and finish the job. There's a little side mission here. Uh, I don't think we can do it right this second. Clears granted. But, yeah, there's a thief in Situation Unaco. normal, sir. I, I think it's when you come back, honestly. I found a pistol. <gasps> Sabo rounds! Is there something back here that I can actually... Yeah, 40. This is technically a range. But it's also a great opportunity for me to just smack boxes. My favorite thing to do. Alright, great. Alright, uh, okay. Way to go, sir. Thanks, I smacked those boxes real good, didn't I? Um, what's this? Credit chit? Yeah. Oh, you just... You just leave it hanging out there. Ooh, tech gauntlets. Oh, I don't have enough... Uh, okay, I am going to... Do I need the flare? Oh, no, I'll just get drunk again. When in doubt, just get drunk. Ooh, I got tech goggles. Never should have transferred. Binoculars. Way to go, sir. Tech gauntlets. Uh, tech goggles. Um, allow you to um, <clears throat> have night vision. For... Gunther should have followed orders. Oh, I can't move this. I thought I could move this. All right, never mind. Oh, so much ammunition. But I can't get to it, and I don't think there's actually a way to do that. So let's just move on. I guess. I should probably talk to Manderly. Situation normal, sir. Thanks for the sit rep. I didn't ask for it, but thank you anyway. I need. Oh, I got a lockpick. I could do one of these. Can I do one of these? I can do one of these. How about this one? Is this an office I can go into? Ooh, an office I can go into. That looks like a vault. I don't think I have a key. Uh, new access code for the detention wing. Uh, ooh, access code for the detention wing? Uh, oh, this is his, is this his office? I just like that Gunther just has a missile just like, just here. Just hanging out. Nice decoration. Anyone ever play um, Fallout 3? It's his homage to Megaton. I am going to just look and see. I think... Zeitgeist Schadenfreude. Ugh, yeah, like I'm going to know how... Oh my God. I probably could remember how to spell this, but it's not like I'm going to instantaneously. Uh, Zeitgeist. Okay. Like, they make it so difficult to figure out how to put it. Okay. Did I spell the thing wrong? One thing that did help in later... Uh, Zeitgeist. Schadenfreude. Okay. 
Sight. Geist. Oh, maybe this isn't his. Shoot. The detention wing. I don't remember where the detention wing is. Okay, whose office is this? Oh, it's Anna's. Yeah, of course it's Anna's. I have to prepare for the mission. I want to suck your blood. I have to prepare for the mission. Yes, I get it. That is Herman's. Yeah, that, no, that's Herman's office. I don't know why I can't get into his thing. You know what? Hack. Time to hack, baby. Avon calling. I might need to upgrade my skill with Skull Gun. I have personally forwarded your request to our appropriations, upgrading a combat readiness. Yeah, he wants a. He wants a gun that he can put into his, into his face, basically. That's very much a Gunther Herrmann thing. Can I just put a gun in my face, please? Uh, okay, I'm going to... What do I not need in my quick... Um... Do I have anything in my pro... I got four charges in my prod. I'll keep it around for now, but I don't know. What did I just get rid of? What did I get rid of? Make that one. I don't really need the other one. I could probably get rid of that. This one I could make them before... That, I don't know. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Uh, three, and then uh, my lockpick couldn't be four. Great. I was like, what did I unequip? Oh, right. My crossbow. Like, the thing that I use all the time. Yeah. I don't want to do that. All right. Okay, let's see here. Um... <coughs> Save this because I feel like I, I feel like I'm remembering something about this. Like if I, uh, yeah, that's probably what I was remembering. One of these. Yes, that's what I forgot. That see, this is why I saved the game. Why am I using this like a nerd when I could just go in here, snatch this off the desk? There. Never should have transferred. Now I can use this lockpick here. Secret stash. Couple bioelectric cells. And they said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderly available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Alex already told me. Thanks. Very polite of you. Can't access that. All right. Oh, man. Uh, before I talk to the boss, I need some <laughs> liquid courage. Um, yeah. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant. Generator plant. Paul's team can walk right into. Th when the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Don't want yes, that. Sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. One thousand credits. Nice. We take care of our people around here. Aha. The bonus for rescuing Agent Herman goes to one of the troopers, though. 
Oh. I'm sure you understand. Thank you, sir. By the way, Durden, stay out of the ladies' restroom. What? That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. There could have been loot in it. I'm gonna go in here. In case you're wondering, too. You'll come to admire your partner. Some She's of, one of our best. Some of the uh, character models might look a little blockier than we'll meet others. Up in the city. It's uh, it's because they've been able to slowly but surely with the revision mod, uh, update some of the different character models to like high definition ones, but not necessarily everyone. We finally got to catch some rebels, eh, Denton? Uh, so that is the reason why it looks a little bit different. Some of them are very, very blocky because it's basically up res from what it originally would have looked like. Um, yes, I know. I'm not going in there. Okay. Well, that was a close one up there. Medical lab. I think I might still need to heal up. Yep. I'm going to make sure I'm completely healed here. Because these guys shoot first. Okay. Um, all right. Can I move the move the micro make move the microscope around the floor? Woo! Fun. All right. I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. Oh really? I find it exhilarating. What the hell are you wrong with you? Okay, I'm gonna just go. Can I? Is that a thing I can access? Okay, I don't think so. Um, I feel like maybe it was. Maybe if I had the leg mod. There's a leg modification, but that wasn't even an option. No, those are just no, those are just static panels. Oh man, I really want to go in there. Minimum 27. Minimum 27 what? Hell of a first day. It really is. Anything good in there? Ooh, stuff. Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, there's a there's a thing in there. Oh man, I need one more lock pick. Need another lockpick. Okay, fine. You're not going to give me anything to go on here, so I'm just going to hack in and see if I can get anything. Do 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 do. Hacking into the banking system. Here we go. Gonna take people to. Hey, 375 credits. Yoink! Oh, it's out of service. Okay, great. Whoops! Uh, okay, there was nothing back here I needed to get. Uh, right, just, uh, I don't have enough picks to go in here. That's disappointing. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Paul Denton. Alright, so have I... Oh, that's right, there was nothing in here. And, uh... Oh, before I go, I am going to look at Anna's computer. Which is here somewhere, Anna. No, she might a not. police board is waiting at the dock. I'll see you in Manhattan. Uh, she might not be very happy if I do that. Huh? I'm just going to hack this and see what happens while well, she's right there. What are you doing with my computer? Um, just looking. Nano augmentations and crudes. Is there anything in here that I needed? I thought that there was something. I have like to that. prepare for the mission. Oh no, you don't care. Okay, great. And um, yeah, you keep doing you. That whole thing that uh, DC was mentioning, like the guy that was just standing there while I snag all the stuff. Yeah, she literally just watched me hack her system, and she was like, I gotta the prepare NSF for the mission. Can you just get out of here? The NSF had so many people in New York. I don't yeah. understand. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand. What are you doing? Uh, that's against protocol, agent. 
Turning on lights is against protocol. We'll finish the job when we get to Manhattan. There is no protocol. This is I can't I don't understand. Turn, what are you doing? Turn on and off lights. What kind of world do we live in? Why don't you just check it? It's not working. <sighs> Whose office is this? Somebody's. Man. Uh, shoot. Well, okay. There are a couple places I didn't get to. I might have been able to get a couple of other pieces of loot, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I really, oh man, I felt like maybe I would be able to get myself, get my hands on one more lockpick. I get one more lockpick, and then what happens is that there's an office where I can get a lockpick anyway. I can open that up. Um, but let's see here. I'm gonna just see about, um... I'm gonna see about, uh, I'm almost up to full here. Yeah. Almost up to full. Go to the south dock and take the police boat to Manhattan. I gotta go back out into the city anyway. I have 1,790 for skill points now, and um, I could do something with it. Uh, efficiency at which we bypass security systems. This is awfully handy. Um, environmental training uh, can take slightly longer. What was the one that I had? Was it rifles? I feel like I might need to eventually take rifles. Low tech rent. There is definitely a build that you could do with this game where you just if you focus on low tech weaponry for melee combat, you get the you get the uh, hand to hand combat mod. Um, you you'll you'll eventually get like swords and stuff, and uh, you you could probably one shot most enemies in the game if you do that, but you have to get up close. Um, I don't have quite enough skill to do this. I feel like the pistol one is probably the one I'm going to want to focus on because damage uh, and reloading helps out tremendously. The rifle might uh, be very useful, but um, fortunately unfortunately I gotta, I gotta go there's nothing more for me to do. I do. I do. Uh, Alvita Sane, as Gunther would say. Wish I was going with you. Yeah, you know, so that you could sit back and just watch me do all the work. Okay. Let's go back out here. In the original, just for the record, that used to take about five minutes between <laughs> between that loading screen. Good luck out there, man. Two dens in. So this is definitely an improvement. I am. Uh, now, when they loaded everything up... They said they loaded everything up and they put it somewhere... Is it somewhere here? Any more cleaning house to do when we chase the... Oh, I. You know what? I'll take. The I'll scope. take the scope. Just attach this baby to your pistol and. Can I attach it to the pistol? What? Oh, I can attach it to the trank launcher. Yes, please. I gotta see. I gotta see this in action. So, where's the button? Oh yeah, baby. There we go. That's terrific. That's terrific. Mouse! Mouse in the house! Alright. Way to go, sir. Thank you. 
All right. Here we go. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? No whammies. I found a body. I have not reported it yet. Um, uh, I can't. Uh, I can't access this ATM anymore, can I? There's no other ATMs where I can use that passcode, is there? That would have been handy. Good luck, agent. I don't need luck. I got pep. Pep is all that matters. Is there a... Um... Nope. Okay, I thought that there might be something out there for me to look at. There isn't. Let's try it. Wee! Planking. All right. Yeah, the argument for going through this whole thing is one, you would get the bonus for helping out Agent Harriman, and then you would also uh, get some of the. Whoops! Sorry. Hit him hard, sir. He just did. This is, um, this is the poison barrel. Yeah, there are options that you have, like, I think from the top of the stairs, if I'm looking at this thing. I just brushed by it! If from the top of the stairs, I think I could probably hit that barrel. Um, if, if it was coming from the, uh, the top up. Also, I think my sniper Take rifle... Care, sir. I have the ability to, um, put a silencer on it. That helps out tremendously. Again, that would be assuming that I was doing a lethal run, which I was not planning on doing. But, hey, the day is young. Um, this only has strength 50. Is there something I can use that I can just smack this with? I feel like I can smack this with something good. Um, not this. Yeah, this, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Um, do I have anything I could, uh, oh, oh no, could I equip the knife? Yeah, I need, um, I really need a crowbar. I had a crowbar. Yeah, of course, now I need a crowbar. Um, I think, out of curiosity, can I shoot this? Hold it a second. I think I could shoot this. Nope! No, I can't. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you wouldn't normally think that you'd put a poison barrel, like, immediately <laughs> at the bottom of a staircase while <laughs> uh, have a, a major tug of war between realism and gameplay. Uh, yeah, no, that real, <laughs> that tug of war is definitely here. Um, it's sort of like, um, what's, what is it like? Uh, Sometimes when you're watching movies or television shows, they do something that doesn't really apply any logic or reason to a thing, but they have to do it so that the storyline actually works and is cohesive. And, you know, uh, that it's, it's sort of like that. Which is why, if you look at a lot of games, and it's not even older games, it's, it's new games too, you'll just notice that there's like a, a, an explosive crate right in the middle of where everyone's walking. And that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would you ever want to do that? But you'll put the crate there because it allows opportunities for players to, to try new things and to use the environment to their advantage. So they'll do that. Um, uh, I cannot tell you if those poison barrels are ones that will... Uh, knock your opponents unconscious, like if they're a, like a trank toxin one, or if they if they kill them outright. 
they also might be the gas ones where they just temporarily disable them. But I don't uh, recall off the top of my head right now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Can I get up here? Is there something in here? Ooh, soy! And binoculars. I'm not gonna take the binoculars. I just... Is there a crate I can use if I can get... I feel like there's something I could do. I don't know. I thought maybe there was. Alright. Uh, I've already gone over here. I've already explored that. Um, I think that these folks are gone. I've gone to the other docks. The south docks are what they want me to go and look at now. I've been down that way. That's where we met Harvey. Harvey. Met Harvey. Okay, they've... They've eliminated these. Ooh, hey, I don't have room for. Okay, uh, drop that. And yeah, drop the. I I got a stealth pistol now. Just get me, give me the damn lockpick, please. Ooh, I have a lockpick. I also have this little this little thing and if I need to break it out I will but it's like a single use energy ball of death it's handy to have around um but I have literally put a scope on this thing now so my trank dart launcher is oh so happy I am very very happy what kind of ammo do I have loaded up in this yeah, trank darts. I have also, uh... I have 12 trank darts. 9 of the regular darts. I have several packs. Terrific. And I have this big unnecessary scope and a red dot sight on this. Ooh. Uh, do I have enough skill right now to do something about that? No, I don't. No, I don't. Um... When you get to higher levels on these, it is, um, y you, like, have no reticle sway. But I have, what I do have is a lockpick. Okay, uh, no, not the prod charger. I don't need that right now. In fact, I don't really... Multi-tools aren't going to be very useful for me. I, I'm not good at using them right now. But... I am gonna go pick some offices. Way to go, sir. Yeah, right on. I'm glad that somebody approves. I don't think that the officers are going to. But before I go to the south docks, I have I found the lock pick. A lock pick I can definitely use. This is why it's always good to at least have training in lock picks, because otherwise it takes you like two or three to do the work of one. I'm gonna go back. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Where is that? I'll I'll know it when I see it. Yeah, there's a lockpick right there. I think. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Yep. Now I get another lockpick. And I think there's another. Yep. And I get a multi-tool. And I get a basketball. Hell of a first day. Really is. Boop. Alright, uh okay. Now I pick this side. Again, troops don't seem to mind. Wasn't there a I wanna say there's a hoop. Wait, can I bounce this off your head? That was fun. Okay. Uh what else we have? A book? Yes, multi-tool. Uh, I do not know whose computer this is, but I bet I don't have the password for it, so let's just get in here. Riveting. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was helpful. And now back out we go. Wish I was going with you. 
Well, be my guest. Why do I always have to make decisions for you? This is so great now that I don't have to Good worry luck, about, man. like, Man. load screens that take me, like, Way like, go, literally, sir. when I first got this game, and it was 20 years ago, I did it on the original iMac, and, um, and the load screens were so long, just to get into the game, that I could basically just, I'll say, I'm gonna load the game up, now I'm gonna go get lunch. And I could come back and do, like, oh, it's almost loaded up. Now, not a problem. Practically, boots up instantaneously. Great. Love it. Even on the highest detail settings. Yes, unfortunately, this is the highest detail settings and on the revision mod. But you know what? That's okay. Games don't have to be high res to be fun. Or good. That's just a... That's a rule I made up five seconds ago. All right. So we're about to head out from Liberty Island. We will be back here um, briefly at some point, but uh, but we will not really be exploring out out here. You're a man of your word. I like that. Yeah. Well, I I did what I I could. Oh, a crowbar. I'm just gonna pick up these flares. Sure, you can't buy some amp. Uh, do I want to buy anything? I guess I'm using the 30... No, 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 I don't, don't want to buy stuff. Shoot, I thought that this was the dock I needed to go to. It's the other dock. Directional controls definitely would have been handy in this game. Uh... Been playing since the 80s. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm interested. I'm uh, I'm focused right now, but I'm gonna look at the chat in a minute. Um, what uh, what was everyone's first like console or gaming computer? Because I can tell you that mine at least was uh, the original NES with those big gray cartridges. Good times. First game that I played on that. Would have been the Super Mario and the Duck Hunt. Yep, uh, that was always great. Uh, Legend of Zelda, good stuff, good stuff. I had the, oh man, I don't even know if I have it. It was probably worth money now. Um, good luck, Agent. I had the, the, the Legend of Zelda cartridge that was the gold one. I know. It, I, I mean, gold plastic. It's not like it was actual gold. But... The boat's ready. Thanks. But that's what I used to use. I didn't, I don't think I even had a computer at that point. The first computer I had was a Tandy. Yeah. Remember Tandy? I do. It had that printer that had the perforated edges on it. Let's head out. And away we go. To our next event. All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the shipment? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. It's there. All right. Yeah, there's always... A There's always an, uh, another way in. Atari 2600, yep. Yep, always like the Atari 2600. My friend had one of those. So I still got to play a little bit of Pac-Man with the womp womp. Always good. 
Um, but I, w I was a Nintendo stand from the, when I was a younger when I was a younger man. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Um. How about some soy food? Don't matter. I just need something in my stomach so I can fall asleep. Here you go. Do you have a place to stay? I sleep out on the dock where they unload the speedboats. Speedboats? Is that how the NSF get their supplies? I don't know. They're always coming in and out of the tunnel behind the soda machine. Interesting. I spy on them from the crates. The code is 9183. Clever boy. Thanks for the snack, mister. It's the least I could do. And there's our way in. Um. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Wee. All right, so behind the soda machine. Oh, right. There's a there's like a code lock or something around here. She's not a, she's not a terrorist. She's just... Look at that. Don't have nobody at the side entrance. NSF could just walk away. That's a cool idea. I'm gonna just look around real quick here. Hey. I want that. Ooh, an accuracy mod, yes, please. Um, now the question I have is, I don't really remember, but I think there's something in the water. There's almost always something in the water. That's good, but I could make that better. Let me put it to you this way, I am definitely going in for this, for, for my Trank Dart gun. My Trank Dart. Are we sure that's a kid? Um, <laughs> a, a Texas instrument. Oh, it had cartridge. Really? Hmm, interesting. Um, are we sure that's a kid? It, I mean, it could be a Yoda. Like... Uh, if, if anyone's seen The Mandalorian, it, it might be a Yoda. I'm not positive. I'm just going to go into the water for a second, and I know that seems like a weird thing for me to do, but I think... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Get, let me get under the boat. Here we go. <laughs> Excellent. This is why it's always worth investing a point in swimming. Because now I got a couple medkits. Okay. A couple medkits in my pocket. That was good. Not only is he a kid, but his name is Josh. All right, so behind the soda machine, it's not that soda machine though. It's a different soda machine. Um, oh no, I think, maybe, is it? I can't remember. It's been so long. But I think what I gotta do is I gotta forge ahead. Um, I got, I got quite a few trank darts, and how, I'm not going to shoot you, kid, I just want to, okay, yeah, no, that's good, that's, that's, that's pretty darn accurate, I'm happy with that. Let's just save the game, please. Terrific. Uh, let's see here. 
we... Okay, so I can't honestly remember where the NSF is in this, but they're not, they're not right here. Hello, big buildings. Moved into the shanty town. Okay. So yeah. Is this the shanty town? Pretty tough pocket of resistance. Well, you're fine. <clears throat> Forty. <laughs> uh, just no, good. sir. Forget about the NSF. Most of those old forts have a bolt hole. Those boys will be long gone out of side tunnel by now. Well, but I didn't want them to go out the side. Oh no! We Run could use away. some help. Okay, come back here. There. They've got hostages in the subway station. Okay. Well, then I guess we gotta go do that, then. It's not Gunther again. It's Gunther again. Alright. Um, okay, there's, there's a tunnel. Okay, I feel like I remember that if I go down the tunnel... This actually, compared to Liberty Island, this is a fairly short area, um, for the record. Okay. We're gonna smack that. A fire extinguisher! Okay. I don't know if this is a good idea. This feels like it might be a bad idea. I'm in the tunnels. I'm in the tunnels. Okay. Hello? Where... Where was... The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened Whoa. to blow up Take the platform. Out. Watch Oops. for booby traps. Well, I think I might have booby trapped myself. I really didn't want. Oh yeah, there's a booby trap right there. Uh. Well, if I hit that target, no, that's probably a bad idea. What is that that I'm trying to do? Oh, come on back. There. Oops! Oh no! I believe what I just saw. Those were innocents. You can't go in and just shoot everywhere. 
I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I just... <laughs> the aliens had all the business. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, if this came out after Men in Black, um, yeah, that might have been the case. Um, but you know, a lot of games that came out recently, it's like, well, the kids, you, you, you can't, you can't do anything to the kids. It's like a rule of thumb. Um, I might have actually been able to do something with the kids. I don't know. I can tell you from experience, though, my own personal experience, that the, the kid is kind of inconsequential. Okay, I'm going to try to be smarter about this the now. NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. Yeah, I, I'll do that. I got this. The fun part now is to see if I can actually trank everybody. 30 credits says I get. I am not going to let the hostages die. Okay. I got this. I did what? <sighs> All right, so that's not working. But by all means, try it again. All right, I'm gonna go down. Fine. You know, I'm thinking that there's actually... I think there's something I can do here, actually. I want to say... I want to say there's a way that I can actually just release, like, a gas cloud and I can neutralize these folks. I don't remember exactly, but I think that there is a way to do it. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. Is... someone there? Uh-oh. Careful. These UNATCO guys got all the tricks. Oh. 30 credits says I'm Careful. These guys got Never killed a cop. I didn't even get this. Ammo luckily doesn't count uh, against They've got your... hostages in the subway station. Yeah, I know. I thought that there was another way I could get in there. Our country tears a beast. Oh, there is. I think it's just there's on. I gotta go to a different dock. When in doubt. 
Oh, they're gonna try to storm in, in the castle. Uh, but I'm not, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna storm the castle. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the, the subway first. Land where my fathers died, land of the pure. You missed your calling. You're living your life as a bum, but I'm pretty sure you could have been a hobo. Hashtag squad goals. What? Yes, you lost some of your men. You decided to rush in. I was trying to take a measured approach. But yeah, me, 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 me. You can't do that. You know. Okay. Now my tranquilizer dart is like a sniper rifle. Off me butt. Oh, damn it. I don't believe what I just saw. Those were innocents. You can't go in and just shoot everywhere. Get back to Castle Clinton and help Agent Navarre locate the barrel of Ambrosia. I am doing my best. It is literally my first day on the job. Who's shooting me? I like having a sniper. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for booby traps. I am a booby trap. Come on back. Come on back. I only need to get like one more of you. Unless you decide to like blow up the whole damn thing. Okay. Uh, here. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Alright. This is a very tentative save, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't want them running. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can get a good hit. I just need to get a shoulder shot. Okay, I think I got him. Whoops. Don't, don't you dare. Oh, come on. I'm hit. Well, I'm out of that ammo. On the bright side, though, I think... I effectively... You've got to be kidding me! How is there another one? Will you...
Well, I can't run through the thing. Yeah, could you just just hold up for a second? I'm just trying to. You just you just wait your. Oh come on. I don't believe what I just saw. Those were innocents. You can't go in and just shoot everywhere. Get back to Castle Clinton and help Agent Navarre locate the barrel of Ambrosia. These are the stupidest people. I'm gonna run into the thing that we set up to destroy everybody. Okay. Good. Good. Smart. 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 They they smart. They smirk there. That smirk. Shmirty murdy murdy. Okay. Alright. So now. Just gonna go down here. And I'm gonna see if I can just grab. How many of these. Dumbasses are there? Okay. Here's one. And here. Yeah, you can try to... yeah. Come on, just all fall down. Okay, so, um... Great. Good work. Hey! The will be all right. Now get back to Castle Clinton and help Agent Navarre locate the barrel of Ambrosia. Thank you to all the folks that are watching through that intense moment, because I feel like this was a group effort. Um... I'm gonna just go down into the sewers now, and uh, we're gonna uh, take the opportunity to uh, jump in through the floor grate. And this will be great. Yep. Okay. I think I don't. I think I've taken. Yeah, they've said that I took care of everybody, right? Dave. Yeah, in case it's not obvious, yeah, I am definitely save scumming um, because of how many times that I have died. It's true. Uh, my save count now. Oh, what is my save count now? 36. Put it up on the big board. I'm putting it in. Save count 36. <laughs> there. Just want to commemorate that for the moment. And we're literally only a couple levels into the game. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I even bothered jumping from there. You saved my life! Thank you. You alright? I guess so. Why were the NSF holding the station? They were pulling out. Most of them got on the train and went up north. Were they transporting any heavy supplies? Barrels? Not that I saw, but I Probably heard crates. about a warehouse. How they needed every precious second to move some kind of shipment. Precious indeed. They just gave up a half a dozen lives for a couple of minutes. They were gonna blow the whole place up. Us? Them, yeah, I get that. Everything. I get that. You know how I knew they were gonna blow everything up? Look at the number of TNT boxes! That they just casually sit around here. Oh, I have no space, so I'm just gonna insta drink all of these 40s. I'm not drink you're drunk. I, I don't want a combat knife. You have a combat knife. You're a tell. Okay, I'm gonna just get those. You go there. Really? Really seriously? Why did you need to have so many? TNT boxes. I'll be okay. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, well, now I, I, I'm not gonna go through there, obviously. Oh, but I think there's a... is there a panel? Oh, there's a panel. <gasps> a flamethrower! Oh, uh, yeah, I need a 4x2 space to flamethrower. Don't you wish I could, though? Who's excited for flamethrowers? Yeah, maniacs! Complete maniacs!
Oh yeah, I don't need to go here yet. All right. Why did you go to Hell's Kitchen, Nathan? I forgot. That's where it takes you, and it just it just instantly takes you there. But anyway, I don't need to go to Hell's Kitchen yet. Uh, that is going to be where I meet my brother Paul. But first, I got to figure out what I'm going to do about Castle Clinton. So let's go figure that that part out. Um, so much energy I use just so that I can keep the lights on. Uh, all right. Okay, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, save. Save total 38 now. 39. All right. Um, they're going to want to go in very hard, and I am going to try to convince them that we do not want to do that. I don't need... Tiny cardboard box! Amazon even delivers over here. Amazon drone! Oh! Aw, oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna talk? I have located the barrel of Ambrosia myself. <clears throat> we did not need your help after all. Well, that's great. I'm so glad. Okay. I don't need the buckshot, uh, but... What is that? Agent Navarro already found the Ambrosia and secured the area. Your orders are to proceed with the operation and Hell's Kitchen. Oh, you already came in. Oh. Okay. While I was taking care of the hostages, you just got the ambrosia. Okay, well. I'm just gonna. I guess I'll just load up on supplies. I didn't even find out what happened with the thing. I thought I was gonna uh, find the magical soda machine. There is a magical soda machine, by the way. Right there. Can I break this door down? I bet I can. If I had money. Okay. Okay, I got a nano key for the kiosk. And I got a pepper cartridge, which could be very useful. And do I need... Running with scissors. Okay. Oh, hey, it's that kid. You a cop? You're not co-agent. It's another How's one of those Yoda kids. Mixed up with the NSF? I just wanted to find some food, but they didn't have any. And then they started shooting at the police. Got some? Again, uh, soy. You can have the soy food. You're cool. Glad I could help. Hey, I bet First I can help time you. I've ever been told yeah. that by offering the a kid have soy. Secret tunnels. They take boxes First into the tunnel everything. under the fort, but they never bring them back out. What kind of boxes? Steel. Big ones. Oh. Thanks. Maybe I'll check that out. Am I done here, though? I feel like there's still something I gotta do. Excuse me. Thanks, mister. Uh, code for the primary lock. Heading to... What's this thing? I'm heading out to help Commander Fraze's oh, team prepare for counter-strike. In the meantime, I'm best advised to keep your head down. It's going to get real messy real fast. Well, boy, that's a... That's encouraging. All right, um, all these boxes. What is that secret entrance? I swear there, I swear it's somewhere. Okay, I got a key ring thing and I think it will get me into the key. Yeah, it does. I figured so much. You're inside the kiosk of Castle Clinton. Yep. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. Yeah, now I just want to figure out how I can get there before I go off to, uh... Off to Hell's Kitchen. Which will definitely be the next target the for us. The terrorists didn't even care. They thought I was lying. Yeah, terrorists can be so inconsiderate that way. 
like some food, Mr. Terror. So. No, kid, we're too busy doing terrorist things. Okay. Um. Come on. How do I get out of here? Is this ex Oh, it's a crate I can open. Opening the crate. Getting some buckshot. Pay phones. Okay, Anna. Thanks for the help. Um, all right. Before I leave, before I leave, before I leave, um, going over here and checking on a couple things. All right. Great. Okay. Yes, I do have a couple lockpicks, and I think I'd like to use one. I just want to check on something. I don't remember if this is a thing. I'll save beforehand. We'll check. We'll do a save count after I do this, too. This will be 40. Save count officially 40. In case anyone's wondering. Rarely are, but here we go. All right. Ah, uh, all right. So here we go. I'm going to open this box up. Because I don't know if this actually gets me anywhere. Oh, I have this code. I have this code. Um... Nine one eight three. Isn't that something out of like a Bond film? I love it. There is some stuff I can grab while I'm in here. I think there's some stuff I can grab. Yes. Here we go. Uh, down the stairs. Honestly, I don't remember if there's anything here beyond what I've already done. Oh, it looks like they've already... Boy, she just, uh, decided to really... Took care of everybody, huh? There was stuff in here I think I wanted, though. Okay. If there's stuff in here that I want, I'm taking it. This looks so familiar to me. Oh, another flamethrower. All right, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Do you want... Oh, yeah, you're just... You, you just... Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna... No, bye, Felicia. Okay. Okay, I did get some supplies, though. I did get some supplies. Boy, there's a lot of weird kids in here. Alright, so that was the assault on Castle Clinton that I apparently missed out on, and also... <laughs> and also... Side note, though, I saved some hostages. Can I pick this up? No. No, I cannot. Good work what? down there. Thank you. At least somebody gives me credit. Amazon! Alright. 
I can't go that way because I can't do the thing. Ooh! You know what? This is actually a really good time to just check real quick and see if I have enough skill points to upgrade stuff. Um, let's see here. I have uh, electronics I could always upgrade if I want to be able to bypass stuff. I'm I'm thinking I kind of want to focus a little bit better on those pistols because then, the, then my trank gun and my stealth pistol and everything, those are, those are more useful. Rifles wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... Actually, the low-tech weaponry, you get a cool sword later. I mean, I didn't really even have to say cool sword. It's sword. So, automatically. But anyway, you get a sword. Which, by default, is cool. And it's like an energy tool uh, sword. But we won't get that until we are out of uh, New York. We gotta escape from New York first. And now I gotta remember how I got... I was... I was just... Here. There we go. Okay. Um... Do 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 Here we go. Alright. Again, save before we go here. It will let me save out as many times. Oh, all right. Still saving. Let's see here. All right. Let's talk to this They're dude. Shooting. Why do they keep shooting? They shoot because they love. Okay, we're gonna just take these. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm drunk again. I don't have enough room in my inventory. I actually like the. Uh, Did I have an ATM code? I'm wondering if I can get use the ATM code here. I'm in the city. Come on, where's where's the pertinent code? Here. Four five five eight. I'll get it later. Water advisory. Mm -hmm. Be safe, be suspicious. Look for foreign, look for following characteristics, a stranger or foreigner. <laughs> Take photographs of major land, taking photographs of major landmarks. Large numbers of mail order deliveries. <laughs> Interesting, in chemistry, electronics, or computers, spends a greater than average amount of time on the net. Uh-oh. Probing questions about your work, particularly high-tech. Add that to the data vault. I know, this game came out in 2000. 2000, folks. All right. What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source, probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. I bequeath them to you. Alright. Um. 
I rather like this part of the game. A hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Yeah, Mr. Renton. Right. This. <clears throat> There's an NSF thug, like, nearby, right around the corner. Is this where I, is this where my hotel is? Can I get into my house? Is it possible to get Den. into my house? Hey, it's Den. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that gonna do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? <coughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, oh man, what do I want to do? I can't remember what we do in this case because I can take them and then I just have gas grenades, which is good. But if I let them keep them, I think that they, their interactions, they'll try to use them to, um, yeah, I don't trust them anyway. Yeah, just give sure. them, just, here you go. Just give them to me. Just give, give me the gas grenade. I'll, I'll, y'all, y'all wouldn't use them anyway. I'm just gonna use them. Thank you. Just give me free, free grenades. I gotta get some trank darts. That's an effective cat. You're a death cat. You're a cat of death. Go on, cat! You're a terrorist to mouses. To meese. Oh, you escaped, Mr. Mouse! Good for you! Good for you, Mr. Mouse! Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. That's exactly where I have to go. <laughs> um... Yeah, it is actually where I have to go. Oh, man. Where's the next place I gotta go? I have no... Damn it. Uh, okay, um... Hold on a second, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. Ooh. There. Sorry. Oh, this is going well. Okay. You you guys you guys can stop. I'm just gonna There. Yeah, just Dude, dude, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We've got them surrounded. Okay. You know I I probably could have you guys are really gun ho, aren't you? You're really, really going in. There's like no uh, stopping them, really. Uh, here we are. There's. How am I gonna get in there? That looks like an important thing I need to look at. It's an important thing I need to look at. Oh. I want to get in the building. I can't remember what's in here, but I bet it's something cool. If I don't set myself on fire. Smackadoo, smackadoo. I know I heard something. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light off. 
And this looks like a good place to save my game. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, I think I'm going into... If I remember correctly, I think this is where... It is. is this... Fascist. Oh. All out. There. Okay. Now I'm in it. I need two picks for that. Um, can I unlock anything? I think I can. We'll wow. take it from here. Y yeah, you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Looks like things are totally under control. Nothing to see here. I don't think we should hold back in a situation like this. No, I can. I can get that. I'm getting that. Is definitely modus operandi. Oh, no, I want to unlock it. Uh, but before I go there, okay. Flamethrower. Oh man, what the flamethrower? But what if we just used a flamethrower for everything, for all of your flamiest needs? I'm gonna just grab this real quick and see. No, nope, that didn't break. Okay. That's why I keep Mr. Baton. Although I have... Oh, I have 20 charges for the riot prod. Yeah, let's make sure that I'm using that. That's just binoculars. I don't want binoculars. Okay. Okay. Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite oh, that. image that should help you plan your approach. Sonic transducers. Fun. Up we go, everybody. Up we go. Yeah. Heads up, JC. We've got NSF troops on the rooftops. Okay. Well, I'm going on to the rooftop. This is a good place to save. I have no ammo for my crossbow. I'm upset. Because as, as you know, it is like the most useful thing. Oh, man. I can swear I heard something. There. Uh, okay, I definitely need to make some room here. Ugh, this is the problem. Once you get these PS20s, they, they, they do some good damage, but unfortunately you can't, they don't stack. Um, which is just annoying. Um... Uh, I got so many shells, I don't really want to get rid of my buckshot. <clears throat> Pepper cartridge. So many things that are very, very useful right now. 
But I don't really want to utilize them yet. Now, for now, let me just do that. There. If I need it, I have ballistic armor. I hope everybody finds that the ballistic armor is a useful thing to have. I have always found it that way. Uh, okay. Ballistic armor. Where am I going now? It's time to it's time to do some work. Time to go to work. I'm always interested in how different games handle uh, drunkenness, or how they want to handle drunkenness, because sometimes, uh, sometimes it's just hilarious. In this particular game, uh, the way they handle it is your reticle goes away, the screen gets really close to you, and uh, Screen gets really close to you, and your your aim is off. Automated security in this area. There's a control panel somewhere about waist level. It might be hidden. Uh, okay, thank you. Is there? I gotta find this thing. Oh, here's rockets. All right, um, I gotta make sure to start using these PS20s when I need to. Hey, here's another conveniently placed barrel. Ooh, I have a thought. Good side note from anybody who's an experienced gamer. When you say, I have a thought, usually a good time to save a game. Okay. Okay. Turn on my mod real quick. And now I can move the barrel right underneath. I'll turn you right off. Okay. So, um, I can't remember exactly how this goes, but we're going to give something a good old-fashioned college try. If I had ever gone to college, that would have made a whole lot more sense. Um, I'm going to use this thing. Want to see what this does? Oh. Anyway, uh, so, uh, what it does is, um... Eliminate some problems for me, uh, and also my leg. Probably as good a time as any to just get my electronic skill to train. It's kind of useful anyway, and I'm gonna. Be yes, 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 yes. Okay, I have a ton of these. So, great way to take care of this little problem. Now I will only need the one tool. There. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna smack this thing, get myself another lockpick, okay, now you can be quiet, and I can go up here. Okay, there's a couple ways that you can address this issue, if I remember correctly, I don't remember, I don't know where I'm, I don't, look, look, folks, truth is, I don't know what I'm doing, okay, the, tr the truth is, 
Um, what I can tell you is that... Uh, I think I'm... Wait, am I back here? Oh! Alright. I'm back here now. We'll take it from here. That was a long, strange trip. Oh, man. That was a long, strange trip, folks. Um, Alright. So. Let's see here. I'm just taking a look at the time, just seeing what we're what we're dealing with right now. Um, I had kind of figured that I would probably end up going until four, uh, and we are almost at four. But I do want to explore a little bit more of uh, Hell's Kitchen. So if it pleases and sparkles, I'll probably just keep going until we're kind of done with Hell's Kitchen, or at least we've uh, we've gotten through more of it because I'm. Uh, I'm having quite a time getting reacquainted with a very fun little game. Uh, I cannot get through that. Oh man, that door strength looks like I could probably penetrate it with. Yeah, this is th this might not work the way I wanted it to. Come on out, man. Let's finish this. Scared, man. Not really, because I do have the ability. <laughs> That's right, I forgot about this. Um, you know, whenever you're really in need of a lockpick, shotgun. That's right, man. Step up. You scared, man? Well, that didn't work. Uh, I know you're still there, so just come on out. Alright, let's load. Fine. Let's just pick it. Pick. Alright, stealth pistol. Let's get the cattle prod. It's nothing. I checked his pockets. You'd back off, pretty boy. I'm out. Gotcha. Your mistake, buddy. I thought that I was doing the thing. All right. Okay. You know what? Fine. I'm not. I. I was gonna give you the benefit of the doubt for a second there. I thought maybe you were gonna be. You were gonna be up front with me. Okay, but I am fronting. Here are we going. Here. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down here. They don't give you money unless you're on title. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. Those you just have to fill every house. They have some extra cash. That's it. I'm out. What the hell just happened there? Did you? Well, that's the... Yeah, that, that was real nice. You killed an unarmed bum in the streets. That was real nice of you. I don't think these are nice people. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they are not nice people. I didn't... Oh, man, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Question is, how do I get over there? There.
The ladder mechanics in this are not great. I will, I will grant you this. Anything in this one I can get? What about the top? Okay, I'm gonna try to kind of like edge around. Thank you. I also need to take some energy here. Uh, oh my god, my legs are not in great shape here. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, health. Uh, heal. That'll help out. Uh, Augs. Use a cell. Uh, yeah, that'll, just, that'll get me by. I don't want to take too much because there are going to be spots where you can just get completely killed up and I don't want to take too much of that. Uh, okay. I don't have a key ring thing for this, do I? Nope. That would have been too easy. We don't want this to be easy. Alright. Uh, unlocked. Okay. Hey there. Ooh, a med kit! I needed that. Here we go. I'm gonna just flush everything. There. I'm the wet bandit. There. Turning on all the faucets. I love how this is like a slum, but they've got so many faucets. Where did we put all the money in this? Oh, well, it's easy. We can put it into uh, faucets. And it was worth it. Alright, is there anywhere else I can go here? There really isn't, is there? No, this is just, this is just stuff near at the top of the... Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Just before I do this, uh, yeah, just gonna edge around here. Whoa! No, no, no! Ah, that's what I was worried about. Okay. I am. My legs have been disposed of. I have no way around. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna jump to the ladder. There we go. And down we go. Down, down, down we go. Yeah, this was 2000, so there was definitely still a holdover from the way ladders worked in older games. Um, and, uh, and, and it's not good. It's not good. Alright, I'm gonna see... Here we go. Where are we going now? It's all ice cream and lollipops. That's what the nice man on TV said. Jeez, okay. Um... Yep. All ice cream and lollipops. Pizza? You're speaking my language. Okay, let's see here. Pizza. Um... I don't have a... I don't have a pizza card. Do I have an unlimited pizza pass? Nope. No, I don't. Alright. Oh, shoot. But what I do have is an annoying camera. Now that I'm into the pizza parlor, Is there anything that I can do in the pizza parlor? Cigarettes. 
You you could just take all of the you could take all the booze. Oh, this is gonna be a terrible idea. Who thinks this is going to be a terrible idea? I can't carry any more of those. Where are the wine? Here it is. Give, give, give it to me. Drink. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Here, here. Three. Here. I can't, I can't even grab. There. Oh my god. I can't, I can't see. I can't, I, where am I? Where am I? I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Oh, the neon glow. Out onto the streets. Hello, lady. I don't. I don't feel so good. I think. I think I drove. <laughs> I drank my body weight in alcohol. It's not fading away. Hi, officer. Can I talk to you? When the weather changes. Yeah. We'll be lost, and no one will know who anyone else is anymore. Oh, that stinks. Uh, cool story, bro. Hey, I'm gonna just turn on my... I can't see anything. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Hi. Yeah? Hi. We're looking for an illegal power generator in this area. Can you help me out? I might have heard something. How much money you got? 50 credit? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm... Sure. I'm having a Appreciate day. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I met this truck driver a while back. He had a lot of cash. I asked him where he got it, and he told me he'd just hauled some power cables to a warehouse near here. Do you remember the name of the street? Didn't seem like a big deal at the time. You might try that mech chick who runs the Underworld Bar. She grew up around here. There's an Underworld that helps Bar. A little. Thanks. Cool. I <laughs> back back to this. I might be in a permanent state doing this since I drank basically all all the liquor in the pizza parlor. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm gonna... Here. Just smack. I can't smack anything. Okay. <laughs> Saviorific. Holy smokes. That... Oh no! It's the cat again! Move along. It's the cat! Oh my god, the massacre. What happened? All the cats. Alright, um. Oh, hey. And we're back. Alright, um. Okay, here's the problem. I don't know if I could take out the NSA. Are, they, are all of the NSA? Hello? He's dead. Back off, pretty boy. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, I don't really have the resources to take care of that right now. Is there... Maybe they do. Alright, I need a 2x2 two two for the assault. Rifle, yep. He checks out. Five. What's back here? What is back here? Good stuff. All good stuff. Okay. Where am I going? I'm going down here. I'm going into the bowels. Beware of the cat. Oh, I'm out of energy. No. Yes. Password? Open up. I'm a federal agent. 
<laughs> I don't need no password. Oh. Yes. Password? Open up. Too sick. Come back later. <laughs> right. I can't get in there yet. Alright. I gotta find a password. Somebody's gotta give that to me. I think, uh... What they were they were mentioning the underworld bar. I think the underworld bar is where I gotta go. Underworld bar. Don't know who the hell the criminals are anymore. Uh, good question. Okay, uh... <laughs> That's right, man. Step up. I'm, I'm not. All right, you deal with him. Thank you very much. You came at a very opportune time. But I let my cattle prod do the talking. Door strength. I can break this door down. But I need something to do that. Haven't I been in there? I think I've been in there. Oh, do I have a key? I don't have anything. Key? No, I don't have a keychain. I thought maybe I had something on my keychain. I don't. All right, well, then those two are gone. That's good. Um, okay. Let's see. Now is just a matter of figuring out where all the actual locations are. Okay, there's gonna be the Hilton Hotel. And we'll take it from here. The I think there's an underworld bar I have to go to. Osgood and Son Imports. We've already been in there. Uh, where else? Come on. There's got to be a that. That looks like it might be a thing. We just go check real quick. I just want to. Oh, wait a second here. Zoinks! Okay, I'm just gonna do that thing where I just smack stuff repeatedly. This is good, this is good, this is good. Okay, great. No, nothing there. Alright, fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna get a lot of ammo, but I don't have room for the assault rifle. Um... Although I might actually be able to. Hold on a second. What don't I need here? Drop the knife. I don't need the knife. And no, I don't need this. I have already explained that. Uh, oh, gee. Um, anything else that I can easily get rid of? This is the most riveting part of any playthrough. I have 200 sprays for the thing, so that's kind of useful. This is the only weapon I really need right now. 
but I do have 15 prod charges. I think I'd like to utilize those. Okay, I have tech gauntlets, and I have this. Those are all useful. I, I, I yeah, the PS20s are just... They are so limited in their usefulness. It's unfortunate. Sabo shells. The reason why it's worth keeping a round, by the way, the sawed-off shotgun, is that those Sabo rounds are made for uh, punch through all but the thickest hardened seal. Its ballistic profile has minimal damage to soft targets. What that basically means, it's kind of worth it for this, because that will allow you to take out um, mechs. You know, uh, any anything that's like an armored uh, piece. These these are good. Um, two of individuals, one shot, one kill for over fifty years. Uh, that's good. If you're going lethal, that it, it, this this sniper rifle is always the always the choice choicest. Um, I need to get rid of one more thing though, and I think that thing is going to be one of these because I don't really use them. There, I found an assault rifle. Yay for me. I'm just gonna clean up, clean up the place a little bit. I think I saw the underworld bar. So I'm gonna go check and see if I can find the underworld bar. And if I can, great. And I'll, clear. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be a happy man if I can. This is the free clinic. Oh, well, actually, one thing. Let's go to the free clinic. Okay. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Tenderloin Clinic. Perfect name. Not now. Please. Leave me alone. One of the doctors can help you. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300, but if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Never mind. As you wish. I want. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Yeah, I get it. All right. So, what can I do here at the free clinic? If you think you have Grey Death, please pick up an information packet. If you think you have the Grey Death. If you're wondering about the Grey Death, um... Plague tests are free. And, and the plague, which is what they're talking about. Um, there is... The little plague alien Plague victims can have their medication later. mailed to their homes and Those are, uh, great. Please proceed to the examining room. Would love to. I cannot get into here I don't think I have a code please got a few credits you have the plague nah cops ran us off the streets usually I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district but somebody boarded up the window you live in a tunnel actually I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building nice view if it's not too cold there's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. I have other patients to attend to. One thing about the warehouse district, you've got to know which buildings are safe. Some have armed guards. One of the doctors can help you. You are very off put by me coming into a free clinic. Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing all right? Yeah, they told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. You know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. Mm. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. I already went through the Osgood building, though. See one of the doctors to purchase treatment. Would you like to not die of the plague? We accept all forms of digital cash. Please have your card ready. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? 
Hey there. Sorry, I ain't got nothing for you. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. Yeah, that was probably me. Um, sorry about that. All clear. What I'm telling you, girl? You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo, and what you want? Uh... You've got 10 seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to yell. Or she don't hear me. Three. <laughs> she skitters <laughs> on me. It's my ass, man. One. All right. I'm going. Jesus. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. Smuggler? Hey, you shouldn't have threatened Johnny. No. As soon as Jojo finds out. Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Oh, I can warehouse. find Jojo. You think he can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. I like Tell that. you what, I'll handle Jojo. You stay out of the way until the NSF have pulled back. I can take care of myself. Uh. Hey, JC. I applaud your instincts here. Just don't forget about the generator when you're done. Paul's still bringing up his team, so you've got a little time. Good. That gives me enough time to get a pimp named Jojo. Jojo's Grand Adventure, which is going to be me beating him silly. Uh, so that's going to be a fun thing. Uh, yes. Is there anything up here I need to look at? Okay, I didn't need, mean to go in there. Alright, so just... I'm gonna save one more time, right when we are outside the Underworld Bar. And then we are gonna... Uh... Quit out of here. Okay. As I think... Oh, man. Ooh. 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 That feels like a little... That feels like enough Deus Ex for me right now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just get out of here. Yes, we're going to exit out of that. Okay. So, there we go. All right, just checking in with everybody uh, one last time here. We have four people viewing. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you to the people that are following us. We've gotten several new follows today. Uh, I'm happy about that. Um, and uh, thanks for the interaction. This was great. Uh, I can uh, basically, this is what I can conclude. First of all, uh, those glasses work better on Snowball than they do on me. So there's that. Uh, anybody who's looking at the full screen, if you're wondering why I kind of like sized it back, it's because uh, when I show you the full widescreen here uh it, it looks like i live in a warehouse i do not this is just my basement setup and uh, i never thought that i'd actually need to worry about the missing drawers on on this cabinet being an issue uh but but here we are and uh at or, or <laughs> that i have to worry about finding paint that matches the the spackle jobs you know things like that yeah yeah i didn't think that was going to be relevant but here we are this is, the, this is the world that we live in. Uh, so, what did we learn about today? Well, first of all, I learned that the uh, the new computer is uh, way, way better than my old computers. Uh, and that it is so much better to play games when the load screen doesn't take five minutes. Uh, I've had my fair share of uh, games where 
Um, just the sheer fact that I had to wait between uh, scenes uh, w with those load screens was kind of a, a killer for me for flow. Uh, so this is definitely an improvement, being able to not have to worry about that anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It is interesting going back and looking at uh, Deus Ex this far out and seeing what it's like. Uh, I was uh, very surprised. Some things I remember, I, I, a lot of it I don't. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I'm getting, my brain's, my brain's refreshing a little bit. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, you, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, yeah, if it was coming out after Men in Black, uh, Karadas, uh, yeah, it probably would have been Trank the Kid. You might actually have been able to Trank the Kid in this one. It's just, I, I honestly, Trank darts, as we found out, are very precious commodities indeed. So I don't really want to go around just, uh, uh, throwing them into people, uh, so much. Um, so, uh, anyway... Uh, so new hardware working well, uh, and I think we had a couple snags. Luckily, I think we fixed those, so I'm glad about that. And uh, and overall, I think that this went uh, pretty well, better than I expected. That's always good. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I think we're probably going to be back here next Friday, assuming that I don't have any kinds of plans that are going to come up, um, I, I'm i hoping that I get to do this in the afternoon on Friday. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It gives me an excuse mostly to play games that I really wanted to go back and play. And I'll probably be continuing Deus Ex. I'm not sure how far we're going to get in, but I, I think at least for Fridays in January, maybe in February, we'll try something new. But I, I do want to go through it. Like, we're we're getting toward the end of that first New York session, uh, section, uh, but then we go to a few other places uh, in, around the world, and so I'd like to play around with that a little bit more um, and, uh, and show you a little bit about what happens when the choices that you make earlier on in the game uh, transfer over later. Um, I could take these glasses off. So these, these glasses don't work for anybody. I thought that this would be a I thought this would be a good idea. It does not work. It does not work. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Deus X. Twenty years old. Over twenty years now. It came out in two thousand and um June. And uh so actually, it's it's been like actually twenty years and six months since it was originally released, and the graphics probably didn't hold up quite as well as we were hoping. But I'm very happy to the mod community that was able to give us that um, the revision mod because uh, if I showed you what it looks like in the original, it's not even so much that the graphics aren't uh, as good or the shading or the, or the resolution options; it's that the game is almost impossible to play because the processor is too fast for what the game intended. Um, so <laughs> it, it, it's, I tried it. I tried it. It's basically unplayable out of the gate unless you have the revision mod. So that's interesting. I don't know if Invisible War is the same way, but I do also have that. So at some point, maybe I'll try that out. Uh, okay. Okay. I've talked enough, and we've been going for about four and a half hours. That seems like plenty of time to be spending playing game in my basement. Uh, so uh, until next time, thank you for joining me. Us, me. That's what I was trying to say, us and me at the same time. Uh, us and me. And uh, we will we will talk to you on the next episode. When we dig back in and see what happens to JC as he gets into the underworld and probably what happens when he gets to the hotel and then takes off for, honestly, I don't remember what the next location is. After we get done in New York, I can't remember. There's a few great places. 
Oh, you are very welcome, Karadas uh, M. You're you're very welcome. Um, uh, this is uh, this this was just fun for me. This is like one of my favorite games, and I I like the fact that I actually uh, get to play it. I I'm like a lot of people were talking about Cyberpunk recently, and and I have been looking forward to that game for a long time. But I'm actually putting that off for a while because uh, I I want them to air you know iron out some stuff but this is kind of when they told me what cyberpunk was like it's like oh yeah it's like deus ex but new uh and and has an open world from cd project so uh so i'm happy to to do this probably gonna just try to do this on fridays probably same rough time frame uh at least through uh january and uh and see how far we get i can't remember what happens after i get out of new york oh my god either i go to no germany is later and then it's probably hong kong i think i go to hong kong i think it's the triad part that's real interesting Ooh. then i can get that cool sword fun all right thank you for joining me again i wanted to say us and then i changed to me thank you for joining me and also us in the royal sense here on Delve, and we will join you again, hopefully next Friday, to continue our post-apocalyptic, cybery, punky, but not actually cyberpunk adventure. Goodbye, everybody.